All right, let's go ahead and get this show on the road, shall we? I am going to wait a little while longer. There we go. This is very bright. I am going to wait a little while longer for some people to filter in, give people a chance. Uh, but we're going to be playing some Frog Fractions tonight. Um, I don't know anything about this game. I... Oh, actually, I should record this. I don't know if I'm going to be making a Frog Fractions video, but for posterity's sake... Uh, yeah, we're playing some Frog Fractions tonight. Um, I don't know anything about the game. I Zoe just randomly recommended it to me. She just asked if I had played Frog Fractions, and I said no, and she said, you have to play it, and you have to, you have to. play it on stream. So, here it is. Uh, not very much for, for options. We've got Eating Sounds Next Gen colorblind mode and full screen so those are the only options that we have access to the only ones that we should need allegedly yeah that should be it so we're gonna give some people a chance to uh to filter in here uh i feel pretty good about my my basic arithmetic skills like if we're talking like addition of fractions and multi and like subtraction and even like multiplication divisions a little bit iffier probably probably a little bit slower on that but uh i feel pretty good uh i think i should have fairly good luck but uh if if i'm not it'll be embarrassing only a little oh. I gotta turn the ringer off on my phone here. There we go. Got on vibrate now. Shouldn't interrupt anymore. Uh, the other thing to note that this game was uh, deafeningly loud when I first booted it up, um, with no volume option in here. So that's a good look so far. This is the game of the decade edition. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Classic. Oh, classic or next gen. I think I'm a next gen kind of guy for my eating sounds, personally. Okay. Um, I mean, let's just get to it, I guess. Let's let's play some frog fractions. Good God. Okay, that was. Okay, I'm just I'm eating things and there are the fractions. Bugs. Getting some fractions. Yep. Okay. Oh no, they're eating your your apple. That's bad. Don't let them eat bad. my apple, maybe? I don't, there's a lot of indignity. Wait, what happened? Uh, okay, whoa. That was a lot that just happened just now. Mm -hmm. um, lock on targeting. Auto targeting HUD helps you to make a glowy red list of bugs you hate. I don't know what that means. Uh, it's the only thing I can click on? No, I can click on this too. I can't click. It costs eight fruit, I see. I only have four fruit. You only got four. I don't have any indignity marks. I also I have eleven zork mids. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cybernetic brain. Anything your regular old frog brain can do, this newfangled cybernetic frog brain can do better. Okay. I'm gonna get lock on targeting. Oh, I only get one. I thought I would be able to get both because I also had enough Zork mids. Okay, lock on seems pretty good. That lock on seems very good. Lock on is pretty good. No, keep leave leave him alone. Leave alone my apples. Okay, I have four more fruits. Uh, I can't afford any of these things, but I've got Zork mids for days. Got some for my cybernetic brain, I don't know. I don't know what the effect of the cybernetic brain could possibly be. I those aren't fractions; those are decimals, which I guess are technically fractions. We have a cybernetic brain now, Cameron. So now the math is a lot nicer. You don't need the fractions; you can have them displayed this way. It's much nicer. Uh, 
Oh my god, there's so many things. Get get the eating your fruit. I I know, I'm trying to stop them from eating my fruit. Okay, I got nine fruit. I can't uninstall lock on targeting. Uh <laughs> hmm. That seems maybe not good that I can't uh <laughs> that there's an option to uninstall it. Chicks don't dig on cyborgs, it makes licking bugs less fun anyways. Get the surgeon to uninstall it. I'll see that. Uh, what else do I got? I've got static cling tongue. Rub balloons against your tongue before extending it, and nearby bugs will stick to one another. Science. Okay. I could also upgrade my fruit to durians. They smell awful, so bugs will take longer to eat them. That seems pretty good. Uh, upgrade your lily pad to a turtle friend. You can ride him over to fruit to grab fruit off to the side. Who put that fruit there anyway? So that sounds like there's more fruit on the table. Which sounds maybe good. I'm gonna go for static cling tongue. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for static cling tongue for now. It's the next one on the list. Sticky having the I, I'm guessing that just means I've got like an AOE tongue sort of deal. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's well worth it. Okay, bunch more fruit. Still can't have forward to uninstall lock on targeting uh durians are too expensive cost eight fruit wow i mean let's get that turtle let's get going turtle time. oh oh what okay now i have my left hand is in play <laughs> i don't know to go left and right yeah yeah but i'm 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 busy i i gotta protect these fruits oh well that's it Wait, what? I learn how to type now. Oh, what? Type time. Oh no, I'm really I'm I'm a search and destroy typer. Uh oh. That sucks for you. I'm I'm good at it. I I I'm pretty good at type I, I'm not like Victoria is a really good typer okay okay we're back okay there's some typing involved there's some typing I don't know why 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 do I need to move around because uh, when the fruit falls oh I'm supposed to catch the fruit yeah oh since when I've just been like going for it you know Get the fruit. Okay. All right. Oh, we're getting more fruit. Not quite a lot of fruit. Okay. We've got that. We can uninstall the lock on. I'm kind of okay with the lock on for now. Uh, dragon. Upgrade your turtle friend to a dragon friend. He will love his new dragon shape. I swear. That shell is just holding him back. Are we taking his shell away? Uh, durians seem good. I want durians. durians. Seem pretty good. I hope they're not spiky and hurt me, though. I hope it's not like a, a monkey's paw situation. I forgot to go catch the durian. No. Oh, wow. No. Oh, middle one's going. Did I catch it? No, I didn't. I. The order here is, like, ridiculous. They, they go, my, my turtle's way too slow. Oh, God. Wave one again. Maybe but... you should have gotten dragon, then. Maybe I should have gotten dragon. Oh, I, I, I doubled back too soon. Yeah, right. I doubled back too soon. I'm sorry. Okay, we've got lots of fruit. I mean, we got to get a dragon. We, we're slow as hell. This dragon's not faster. This is like the same. Bullet hell. Bullet hell. I. This is too. I'm just gonna stay under my middle durian. Is this because I did a dragon? I unlocked bullet hell mode? Ow. Ow. Oh, I can't... Okay, I got stunned. Fine. Fine. Oh. 
What? Oh. What the hell was that word? Estet. Nautilus? Nautilus was fine. I've spelt Nautilus a lot in my life. Okay, I don't have to hit enter, I just learned. Unsheath? Oh, what? Ensue. Unseat. Okay. Annotate. I'm pretty fast for a seek and destroy typer. I would maybe like to learn how to type properly one day. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh, I can go up? I can go up? You have a dragon, you can go up. Can I just go and like grab the fruit? No. This here, I have one indignity. I gained an indignity. Oh no, not the indignity. Okay, well that warp drive is too expensive. Install a warp drive on your flying dragon. Now he'll really take you places. 25,000 fruit? Yeah, it's a lot of fruit. Fine, I'll install a lock on, I don't know. I do have to think now a bit more, but I think the lock on was not actually helpful. Oh, the present. I, I couldn't get the present because I was on the other side of the screen. I couldn't possibly have known that it was going to appear. There's no way. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay. Oh, I got... I can reinstall lock-on targeting again. <laughs> I sure do miss lock-on targeting. It was it's pretty, pretty sweet. sweet. I'm good for now. I wish I could just grab the fruit. It's not ripe yet. Well... Do it. Stay away. Stay stay away. Give me this durian. Give it to me. I want it. It is mine. That's the durian I need. Oh. Stay away. Give me the durian. What if I just keep one of them alive? Like just one fly alive and just keep catching durians? Interesting. I'm I'm good. I'm gonna do that next time. I'm gonna I'm gonna see. The present no The present always spawns on the left. Is the present gonna have like twenty five thousand fruit in it or something? Okay, I got one fly left. You can have that durian. Infinite durian hack? Infinite durian exploit? The most efficient durian farm ever discovered? I don't see why I wouldn't do this. I just get- oh, I gained an indignity. You hit one. Oh, I gained two indignities. Okay. That's maybe bad. Okay, one more. Now we eat them. Okay, we got a lot of fruit out of that. Got a lot of fruit. Um. No thanks. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, typing time. What? Stasis. Put an extra T. Oh. You know that one by heart. I do. Handstand. Distend? What a weird one. Ooh. Here we go. I do have to look at my screen, so I have to look at it and then look down. 
But, okay, it wants me to get lock on targeting again. I'll get lock on targeting again. It's not always typing. It's sometimes... I forgot how much lock on targeting sucks ass. <laughs> no, search and destroy. I was just, I was actually saying, when I first saw the typing, I was like, Victoria, she's a very fast typer. I think you're the fastest typer I know. <laughs> I mean, uninstall lock on targeting. <laughs> uh, let's just keep playing this game, I guess. I don't know where the fractions come into this. I thought I was going to have to do some math. But I'm just... And the I'm, fractions are right there, Cameron. Yeah, but I'm not doing any of it, you know? Like, I'm not... I mean, what, there's a frog and there's fractions. What more do you? What more did you think there was going to be? Uh, some math? Oh, well, fractions oh, are math. Oh, I'm so good at bullet hells. No, an indignity. <laughs> Another indignity. Oh my gosh. So many indignities. This is awful. No! You got, you got a pretty good score, though. Get him! Yeah, I got uh, 9.15e plus 2. I'm, I'll just keep... I'll keep going around the world. I don't know how many fruit... Do I? I have 17 fruit. That's not enough fruit. Oh my gosh. Get him! No. Don't eat my fruit, flies. It's so weird. What are the, what are the, do flies even eat durians? Mosquitoes definitely don't eat durians. Well, these bugs love fruit. Okay, uninstall it. We're gonna go back and forth here. Ride my dragon. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I can't imagine how loud this would have been. It's pretty loud. Yeah, just I just turned it down. Like, I turned it down on my uh, volume mixer. No! Leave my durians alone. Another row of them? I Does it go forever? That's going to take it me might. a long time to get 25,000 fruit. Yeah, it would take you a really long requires time. Requires warp drive, requires work visa, requires issues, need PR department. PR for that. department. That makes sense. Requires this also requires a PR department. This one requires a voice oh, modulator. Drugs. This one requires a voice modulator. This one requires the voice modulator. This one requires padlocks, dr bug drugs, meteorology, satellites. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh yeah, this is gonna take a while, I think. Um, give me back lock on targeting. Oh. Precarious. Uh, putrefaction? What'd I do? Putre... Putretaction? Putrefaction. Deep. Deep. Psychosocial. Uh, psychosocial. Underclothes. That's fine. Archetype. Okay. Those are fine yeah, words. Yeah. As long as I periodicity, periodicity, allotrope, sars. Oh, sarsaparilla. Funicular. Funicular. Eclair. I know eclair. Unscrupulous. I'm also just looking at the word and then guessing at how it's spelled. But you're looking at the word. Okay, so this is costing 10 fruit? Yeah. I'm like going down in fruit. Yeah, I know. You just keep doing it. I, I thought that it was, I was supposed to do. <laughs> is there a secret? I'm gonna I'm gonna explore that way. No. Oh my god. That was a lot of secret. I'm trying to a game of rock and fraction? I'm trying to Can I go like up? Can I attack the Can I attack the flies where they live? No, the present 
Oh, god damn it. I want to see what the what's in the present. Under. Okay, okay, okay. As uh, Zork mids. So many... That costs so many Zork mids. That's so many Zork mids. Uh, can Holy I shit. change the... Can I just change my amount of fruit? Only Zork mids, am I right, chat? Only three Zork mids. Holy... This one costs 50 Zork mids. That, that was more reasonable. This one's like 10 Zork mids. Mm. But it requires the PR department. Warp drive seems pretty good. Uh, hmm. Okay. What if I die? What if I just let my indignity stack up? Have at the durians, flies. Enjoy. Give me indignities. Okay. Everything went grayscale. Retry. Nothing happens? Nothing happens. I just, I just lost the round. But nothing yeah. happened. Like, there's no penalty. I still have all my... No! The present! <laughs> I like meth. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh wait. <laughs> Might have the wrong uh the wrong stream. Uh I have no idea what I'm doing. Mm. You know what? It's a typo, but I'm just gonna leave it. I decided to change what I was doing on stream tonight, uh, with the typo, so now we're doing some some math, some frog fractions. Yeah, if you put meth in the bar, Twitch would get mad at you and ban you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Filter. I... Okay, how do we... How do you progress, I wonder. I so also... I, I, I also wonder. So how do I progress? Is it... I'm not gonna tell you, I, I'm wondering if it's the typing? If I have to type something, some special code? This is a natural alternative. All natural alternative to meth frog. <laughs> love to hang out with the meth frog. Comes so okay. Cool. What if I change the eating sounds to classic? Classic? Nothing has changed. The, the, no, the, eating, sounds the right. eating sounds are just classic now. Okay, we've got one, for, one fly left. Now would be the time to explore around. Ah, uh, have I thought... <laughs> <laughs> this is... This is just like when we played Dokapon, and Zoe suggested I just roll big numbers. Say roll big number. I said oh, if sorry. you things, oh, you would get big oh, number. I found oh, it. You found it? I found I found a, the secret durian stash. Oh, there's oh, so shit, many yeah. durians. Like a billion. Like a billion. Oh, this is so many durians. Holy crap. Let's go. Yoink. Alright, like a billion. Oh, shit, well, Time to purchase a warp drive. Wait, no, go back. I want to get more durians. No, it's too late, Cameron. You got the warp drive. Lieutenant Hop. I, okay, I, I. Oh my god. No, the present. Oh my around. gosh. Oh my god. Oh, it blocks my tongue. Wow, I've never seen anything those bugs shoot anyone but you. I think something. Who was that? I think they might be racist. Is that Einstein? Oh, that's Abe. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Cameron, they said not to do that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's I'm not as fast as the asteroids are. Plus, I, I'm trying to get durians. There's Bug Mars now. They're home planet. They're gonna regret messing with us. This is just like the end of Ender's Game. Spoilers. Spoiler alert if uh, anybody hasn't seen Ender's Game or read it. Uh, Don't forget to avoid bullets. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. I do appreciate that. There's a lot going on here. It's kind of hard. Oh, yeah. I want to get a speed boost for my dragon. Give me the durian. No. Ugh. The present. No. What? It went right through me. Yeah, what was that thing that just fell? It was a present! I just... Good flying with you, Lieutenant Hop. See you on the other side. 
I totally Here missed the presents. Ah, uh, yes, those were letters uh -oh. and numbers. Oh. I, okay. I've got, I'm glad I have lock on tongue for this. Ow. Get, get it. Yeah, open up that eye. Destroy the core. You're under arrest. Thank you for your cooperation. What the hell? Mr. Hop, the charges against you are severe. You're accused of breaking and entering into our native habitat, Bug Mars. Okay. And with intent to purloin our delicious space fruit. How do you plead? All right, we've got guilty, your honor, not guilty, your honor, amphibious, your honor. You've got the wrong dude. My name is Mr. Leap. I don't, weren't we lieutenant? Weren't we a lieutenant? Uh, you were a lieutenant, Hop. Okay. Has anyone ever told you that you look delicious or, oh God, I'm surrounded by bugs? Um, how do I plead? How do you plead? Amphibious, your honor. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you don't want a lawyer? These charges carry a minimum sentence of 20 years hard labor, but there's a special offer this week. How'd you like to become a naturalized citizen of Bug Mars? Uh, this is... Isn't naturalization like a big hoax? Or not a big hoax, like a big... Uh, fraud? Is that the word I'm trying to use? It was bad, was the point. It took a... Uh, it took a bunch of First Nations people's uh, status away right. from them. Yeah. Absolutely. I love it here on Bug Mars. I've never been to a buggier Mars. You drive a hard bargain. I'll take the labor. I don't know. What are the hours? I feel about bribes. If I just reach in my front pocket, get them off. The Get the bugs off. I mean, get the bugs off. Um, I don't know. What are the hours? A dutiful bug Martian must always be vigilant. The space fruit aren't going to steal themselves. Here, all you need to do is pass a test on the history and culture of this fine planet. Shall we begin? Our bug flag has four bug stripes. What do they represent? Uh, Peristalis? Mm -hmm. Okay. Synec... What is... Synecdoche. 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 Bugs. bugs, crushing our enemies in our powerful mandibles, protecting my precious space fruit from your you goddamn space bugs, your honor. Or, nah, hate bugs, hate bugs. You missed commie space bugs. Oh, commie space bugs. Uh, I, I feel like crushing our enemies in our powerful man. I, our. Uh, what do they represent? They represent bugs. A little bit on the nose, isn't it? You can blame Bug Betsy Ross for that one. Next question of the series, <laughs> Bug Jersey Shore. What is Bug Snooky's favorite flavor ice cream? Trick question, ice cream is unheard of on Bug Mars because of the climate. I don't really watch TV, Your Honor, or I think they're in my air. I can feel them crawling around. Uh, favorite flavor of ice cream? Well, it's probably not Bug, because that would be, uh... That would be kind of messed up. That would be... Cannibalism. Uh. Oh, cookie dough is pretty good. Does Bug Snooky like cookie dough ice cream? Probably. Who doesn't like cookie dough ice cream? Bug Chip Cookie Dough, of course. Four score and 20 bugs ago, Bug in Chief Bug Thomas Jefferson wrote in the Declaration of Bugs that we are blessed with which inalienable right? The right to bugs. <laughs> the right to own sentient space fruit as slaves? Oh my god. The right to refuse to testify against your hive mind in court. The right to parade around the courtroom in only your knickers. How the hell should I know? I'm a frog. Or, oh god, bugs everywhere. Uh, the right to refuse to testify against your hive mind in court. You goddamn bugs. This game reminds me so you much of Undertale bugs. with its writing. Yeah, you... you Fucking bugs. Involuntary chirping, notwithstanding, yes. During the War of Bug, 1812. Isn't the War of 1812? That's the one where they made a Canada. Yeah. 
Uh, General Stonewall Bug Jackson held off the nefarious frog Armada single-handedly. How many mecha frogs did he crush under the wheels of his Mercedes Bugs? I know they hadn't invented counting back then. 420, I swear, they counted them twice. That's not just a pot joke. <laughs> None. He didn't learn to drive stick until after his divorce, or they bite. Oh, they bite. Oh, they bite. Bite, 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 bite. Uh. Ah. Uh. During the War of Bug, 1812, General Stonewall Bug Jackson. I he didn't learn to he obviously didn't learn to drive stick until after his divorce. Mm. I gained one point three three. How do you feel about fractions? I uh, was told there'd be no math on this exam. Oh man, I love them. They're an intuitive way to represent a non-integer value. I'm actually learning sl leaning leaning slightly towards significant notation these days, scientific notation these days. I don't know, I've never really dealt with them. I think my chair is made of bugs. Am I made of bugs? Uh, I think they're an intuitive way to represent a non-integer value. Spoken like a true bug. I'm impressed, Mr. Hop. Yours is the first perfect score our fake naturalization program has ever seen. We were going to fire you into the sun, but instead we've decided to issue a, you a work visa. If you'll just sign here. Uh, yeah, F yeah, fist pump, YOLO, bugs, 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 bugs. YOLO, good god. This is an old game. Uh, F yeah. Oh, okay. Everyone loves a novelty signature. Okay, Just so. Bug John Hancock. Okay, classic. Uh. For well, novelty purposes only. Yep, sure, sure, sure. So... We're going to go ahead and... Uh, oh, let's look at this. Our, our Bartholomew Salience. Date of birth, bug, 2012-0605. We're a chitin donor. Uh, one, two, three, or one, two, four, five, Bug Street. Insectopolis. Height, 1.5 centimeters. Weight, 22 grams. Uh... Uh, what's... You gotta sign it. Okay, sure. <laughs> Try to think of something better than just putting suck my dick. <laughs> oh my god, Cameron. Uh, I'm really struggling to be more than, like, seven years old right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bug Mars. Uh... We're gonna do a. Uh... Oh, we should we should really, well, we're just gonna do like a box around it now. Because it does not look like we have a, a backspace. Nope. Uh, we're gonna do like a. I don't remember what a capital B in cursive looks like. I think it just kind of looks like a B. I think so too. Oh, an S? I haven't done an S in forever. Isn't it like that? That's what an S looks like. I, this is not a K. I don't remember what a K. No, it is a. It is a K. Yep, that's okay. I I'm really struggling to remember how to. Oh, I don't remember. Suck, bug. Suck bugs. <laughs> Like bugs? <laughs> okay, oh my god. The Mars fractions are the best fractions. We're on Mars now. The game is back. We still have like a billion fruit.
But I think Zork mids might be the new currency of the day. So I, I could have sworn that I, I caught a present at some point. To purchase Merv Tongue, insert a $20 bill into your CD-ROM. Oh, we got a PR department. And it costs 2,000 Zork mids. We've got three Zork mids. Mm. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. He's going for it. We're huh? going under. I don't even know how we earn Zork mids. There's blood over it. No. Maybe blood? I don't know. As conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator Andre Felipe, boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local students. Okay. We're learning about boxing. Just a quick little boxing lesson for everybody who doesn't know. Absolutely bizarre. Game? Uh, no, just the boxing part. Oh, left or right? Left is left is right. It was Felipe's son, Andre Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in 1637. After seeing a school. <laughs> oh, I see. Causing him to fall down. When Andre Felipe Felipe challenged the then champion, British expatriate Sleepless Bill Bishop to a match. Bishop was the odds on favorite. Oh, hey! You can imagine as a little friend. When, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast that morning, Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck, sending him down for the count in the parlance of our time. Wow. Hard to believe that we lost such a classic sport as boxing to violence. Officials were unable to find any actual rule that punching violated and were forced to let the victory stand. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers, which drew the interest of many outsiders to come see what all the fuss was about. The newcomers were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric displays of human strength and skill, and the rest is history. And there's a few sports sports oh. hall moms single minded about safety added the padded gloves, of course. There's no rule that says that a dog can't play basketball. That's true. Today's boxing Very true. enthusiasts fantasize about a newcomer that would rock the ring the way Felipe did. Classification of the modern rules oh, we're, has it's very... locked the punching strategy into place. But it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy. Ooh. Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick, usually a variant of hypnosis. And though they've achieved oh, a dead end. Victory, none of the gimmicks have been robust enough to make it to the big time. And that's not effective, apparently. I, I, I'm waiting for the next big hypnosis boxer to pop up. You think they'll be able to get through the punching strategy? Yeah, yeah, I think so. They just have to be able to hypnotize faster than... Uh, the average human can punch. Mm. Uh, and that's really what it is, because it's like, you know, you think about all the words you have to say to hypnotize someone, you're getting sleepy, very sleepy. You know, by the time you get that out there... Wiggle the pocket watch. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the fact that pocket watches are prohibited uh, really is holding back the hypnotism strategy. The original vision of boxing is still around. Gentlemen's boxing clubs can be found in cities all over the world. You can visit one most any day of the week and see two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring. Most people only come to watch a few hours of a match and then leave. <laughs> but every once in a while you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die-hard fan, who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop, who for love of the sport must stay to witness the last oh. glorious seconds of wakefulness slip away, only to return to fight again another day. I found a spaceship. You found the spaceship. Time to get off of Bug Mars. We're out of here. Is that it? The rumbling seems to have stopped, and you feel the intense downward pressure let up. After a moment, you calm down enough to start taking in your surroundings for the first time since the seemingly dormant vessel sprang to life. Command module. 
The walls of this circular room curve to meet at a point that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hull. Lining the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. A ladder leads aft. If you don't know how to get started, press help and press enter. What next? Is this a mud now? This is turned into a mud? <laughs> okay. Um, go, go up. Go up the ladder. You, clam you clamber across the ladder. Captain's quarters. This looks like an all-purpose living area. A sleeping pod sits next to a nightstand. A ladder leads to the fore. An oriental rug lies in the center of the aft wall. Uh, investigate the rug. I don't understand that verb. Uh, take rug. Uh, moving the rug, you discover a recessed hatch below it. Your score has gone up by two-fifths of a point. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ooh. Uh, open hatch. You have to work it a bit, but after you give the wheel a few spins, the hatch pops open. Look into hatch. The hatch is open. Go into hatch. Engine room. Nearly every surface in this room is covered with a sticky pink goop, which seems to be thicker near a gray machine sitting in the corner. A hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. There is a hatch leading back to the captain's quarters to the fore. Uh, let's take goop. The goop is stuck to the surface. Ah, okay. Um, look at machine. What was it? Was it a machine? Look at machine. Looks at machine. Look at machine. The machine consists of a spigot aimed at a flat platform. A handwritten sheet of paper has been hastily taped over the base of the platform. Read paper. This is the out of order note included in your game package. I didn't get a game package. This is bullshit. Oh no. Uh, what next? Take note. You rip the note off, leaving a fluttering piece of electrical tape behind and revealing a control panel. Look at control panel. Uh, most of the control panel is rendered unusable by the sticky pink goop. You see a row of what look like radio preset buttons, all but two of which are stuck. There's also a big red lever. None of these are legibly labeled. Pull lever. Pull red lever. The machine whirs, dispensing mom's specialty, a voice says. Pink goop screams out of the faucet, or streams out of the faucet, splashing against the flat platform and getting everywhere. A couple drops land in your mouth, and you recognize the flavor. Bacon milkshake. Mm, uh, atmospheric yuck. anomaly detected. A different voice says. A whirring sound ensues, and the bulk of the goop is sucked into tiny, into invisible vents leaving just enough goop floating around to be gross and annoying. Atmosphere purified, the voice says triumphantly. Eat goop. Those drops earlier were enough bacon milkshake for one lifetime, thanks. That's fair. Um, press button. The raised button clicks into place, and the previously selected button pops up. Local currency, says a robotic voice. Oh, baby, we're going to get some freaking Zubinis or whatever Dude, it was. Zorkmids? Uh, pull lever. Give me some Zorkmids. The current the machine whirs, dispensing local currency, a voice says. A thick stream of Zorkmids shoot out of the faucet, bounce off of the flat platform, and scatter around the room. Take Zorkmids. Uh, you spend a few minutes gathering up the scattered Zork mids. Your score has gone up by a third of a point. Pull, pull lever. Pull lever. Unable to dispense local currency. Damn it. Okay. What else was in this room? Look around. Uh, da, 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 pink goop, gray machine. Oh, there's the hole. 
uh, we're going to do look at a hole. Peering into the exposed machinery, you see what looks like an empty coffee that can that you're guessing doesn't belong there. Take coffee can. You twist the can and it eventually comes loose, but you've ripped the insulation off of an adjacent wire in the process and it begins sparking as it comes into contact with an adjacent wow. struct. You glance down at what you've taken. Huh, it really is a coffee can. Look at cof coffee can? An empty coffee can. Okay. Uh, we're going to do press button. Mom's specialty. Fill coffee can. This is not going to work. Are you sure? Okay, hold on. Uh, pull, pull, pull lever. Oh, but it, it, oh, oh, put coffee can on platform? There's a platform, right? Yes, and now pull lever. Dispensing mod specialty. Uh, it mostly gets everywhere, but the coffee can does end up filled. You grab the can. Okay, we have some bacon milkshake Got some bacon in a milkshake. coffee can. I think we're good. Go through hatch. Um, a ladder leads to the four. Oh, well, there's a sleeping pod. Look at sleeping pod. Uh, t -t -t -t. The sleeping pod looks like a bed with a lid, but you have to assume it's got some sort of suspended animation functionality. I mean, right? There's a hole on top next to a gauge reading empty. Uh, fill pod with... Fi what if I just do fill pod? Fill pod with mom's specialty. Special specialty it's too long with coffee can you bring the can close to the hole and the hole sucks the pink goop right in the nearby gauge fills up your score is gonna turn on pod there is space machines aren't on or off here machines just are or this is space, okay. Get in pod. You can't safely sleep until you're confident you'll return to bug Mars by the end of the trip. Okay, so I'm not ready for that yet. Go, go up ladder. The walls of this, oh, we're in this, we're, right, we're in the command module again. <laughs> okay, I didn't explore this room at all. See a porthole, a glowing display. We're going to look at display. A glowing green display shows a map of the galaxy with a destination you don't recognize marked, an ETA of about 3,000 years. Looking closer, you see two on-screen buttons labeled route details and new destination. Uh, press route details. The screen spills forth a slew of steps such as spiral spinward at spathy system. Far faster than you can fathom. Uh, press new destination. The nav computer dumps you into an interface so ab obtruse that before you even consciously process what's happening, you've hit the back button and are at the main map again. What? Uh, press new destination. Do it again. Well, what? This is terrible. Okay, what do I do? It's so confusing. It's so confusing. Uh, what else? We got a control. Look at control panel. What if I just do look at control? The control, that's control deck. The control deck consists of an array of switches and a pair of joysticks. Let's hope you never need to override the ship's autopilot because these are definitely not frog joysticks. Uh, 
Mm. Pull joystick. Best not fiddle with the controls. Lame. Look around. What's it? What's in here again? A porthole. Look at porthole. Through the porthole, you can see a background of stars shifting as the ship gently spins. The constellations are all unfamiliar to you. So I did. I'm so glad this worked like an actual console and I can go back. Uh, press route details. Uh, we're gonna do look at display. Uh, shows a map of the galaxy. This nation you don't recognize marked. It was so confusing. So I've I've only got these two rooms, right? Or right, three rooms technically. Yeah, it's not super big. To meet at uh, a point. Correspond with the nose of the outer hall. Lining the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a controller deck. I mean, go to ladder. Ladder. Get in pod. Was that enough? I need to make sure I'm getting to bug Mars, but the thing is too confusing. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Go to hatch, hatch. Look at hole. Sparking as it makes contact with the adjacent struct. Move wire. You try to pull the wire away from nearby components, but it returns to its natural position, touching the struct. Uh, put coffee can in hole. That doesn't go there. I disagree. Okay. Go out of hole. Go out, hole, go out, go out, hatch, go, look around, um, there's a hatch leading back, go hatch, okay. Living area, sleeping pod, nightstand, ladder. Oh, ladder. look at nightstand. I haven't looked at the nightstand yet. The nightstand offers a single open drawer. You open the drawer, revealing a thick manual. Take manual. Read manual. It's a manual for the navigation computer and the command module. After leafing through it, you feel confident you'll understand how to use the interface well enough to get set up a route back to Bug Mars. So, go ladder. Uh, press new destination. You deftly plot a course back to Buzz Bug Mars. The engines roar and you feel G-forces shift. The ETA reads 57 and 3 fifths years. Huh. You run a diagnostic and determine that the vast majority of the time is going to be spent going through bug customs. Luckily, you can't sleep. You can sleep through most of it. Your points, your score has gone up by three and a third points. Go, yeah. go ladder, go pod. You try to sleep, but you can't. That bare, that bare wire loose in the engine room might start a fire. Shit. Take so, take rug. No. Nope. I I can tell you because I got stuck here because I didn't pay attention to the very tiny dialogue clue. If you'd like me to. Well, let me let me try to figure it out. It was quite a while ago. It was quite a while ago. It would have been when I 
there's the insulation on the on the wire that got taken off so I need new insulation on the wire what can I use insulation on the wire can I use mom's specialty as insulation go to hatch blobs sticky pink goop drift around put can on platform platform pull lever uh put pour can into hole hmm put put can into hole put can in hole put ma manual in hole move move wire but it returns to its natural position touching the strut what is a strut it's like a metal frame move strut uh oh hey lil welcome back we are still playing math frog uh but the game has turned into a mud well a, a mud implies i guess multi -user. yeah multi-user this isn't a mud this is a text adventure yeah uh hmm so i've got to put something back in there i thought i put the can back in there oh wait so do i take Insul insulation? Did I spell that right? Take so. what? Take take what? Take. Hmm. Go hatch. Look around. Uh, a ladder pulls leads to the fore. You've pulled the rug to one side, revealing a hatchway leading aft. Go ladder. To meet a point that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hall, a ladder leads aft. Glowing display, control deck, porthole. Lining the walls. Go ladder. A sleeping pod next to the nightstand. Search pod. Looks like a bed with a lid. It's got some sort of functionality. Hmm. I, uh, I really don't think you'll get it. It's so obscure. Sleeping pods, access to a nightstand. Look at nightstand. 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 Good gracious. Nightstand offers a single drawer, which is open and empty. Okay, we're going to go go hatch. Uh, nearly every surface in this room is covered with a sticky pink goop which seems to be thicker near a gray machine sitting in the corner. A whole, it reminds me of the Teletubby goop, you know? <laughs> yeah, a the whole, Mr. Tubby custard. Yeah. A hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. There's a hatch leading back to the captain's quarters to the fore. Blobs of sticky pink goop drift around the room. Take, take, goop. By collecting loose goop. Fill can with goop i think i already have a full you already have a full can i think i already have a full can of goop Dr goop doesn't work drink goop look at machine spigot aimed at a flat platform a strip of electrical tape take electrical tape yeah, that was from when you rolled, Put rolled the note off. Put electrical tape on wire. 
You wrap the tape around the bare wire, insulating it. Go hatch. Get in pod. Get in pod. Holy crap. You lie down in the sleeping pod, close the lid, and drift off. Secure that in 57 something years, you'll return to Bug Mars, a wealthy frog. When you wake up, you're clearly not in your sleep pod. You blearily gl glance around to get your bearings, and you appear to have been sleeping on a heart shaped bed covered with roses what a voice comes from the next room awake already a wispy human figure in a bathrobe and crown walks in she bends over and kisses you on the nose and suddenly you feel your body shifting yay she laughs and claps and you realize that you've been transformed into a human form what the hell my tongue is so short <laughs> Oh no. And I can't get in the water. No! The indignity! The indignity! I know they're eating my fruit. This is terrible. You wake with a start. What a horrible dream. <laughs> you call your friend, Draggy the Flying Dragon, just to talk to someone. Yellow, Draggy says. I just had the worst nightmare, you explain the situation. I'm not sure the support group for human bug eaters is really going to get much of a following, Draggy ponders. Maybe if we drummed up a little publicity first. I know, just the PR agency. Five minutes later, Draggy shows up at your door, dressed to the nines. He dr tosses a frog tuxedo at you. Put this on, babe. We're running for president. Uh... <laughs> Can it hop? What say you to allegations that you are not a natural born citizen, that you're under 35, and that you're a frog? Oh shit. Oh shit. It's happy feet. This is hard. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, I can't do this. I could do this if it was W A S and D. I can't do this. I can't. Smash. I am. You're having trouble, Mash. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm now mashing harder. I brought four fingers into the deal. Oh, we're good now. I'm so good at DDR. Oh, yeah, he's so good. Look at that combo. Well, oh man, you Thank smoked you, him. Lincoln. Thanks, Abe. Uh, that's that's big. That's big ups coming from Abe Lincoln. Oh shit! This is Sly Cooper. <laughs> Betsy Blue, Blue Bonnet. Ah, oh, she's so great. Sir she's Clarence Clarin. Gastropod. Ferdinand, Ferdinand Croker. Croker. Flaps McQueen. A chow. Am I right? Break, yeah, you. And introducing Draggy Ceiling Eater. Ceiling Eater as himself. Created by Twinbeard. Numerators and denominators. Frog fractions. Wow, oh wow. What was that? Probably your bug assistant. He weather report hot and dry bug assets two million zork mids cost to produce bug porn ten thousand zork mids per megabyte how many megabytes of bug porn do you wish to make um how many on. megabytes of bug porn are you making i'm getting my i'm getting my calculator out here uh oh, you're really let's doing see, it? see two we've got two million i could probably do this in my head actually i just realized these are kind of nice numbers uh, what does it ask? How many megabytes? Okay. Uh, 200 megabytes of frog porn, please. You're going all in? Uh, bug porn, sorry. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, how many pop-up banner ads do you wish to purchase? Don't worry, this interface is temporary. Bug software engineers are hard at work. Uh, well, I have no more money. <laughs> well, I spent it all on bug porn. <laughs> You spent uh, all your money on bug porn, and now you can't afford ads. Uh, what if I just did like a hundred? Unfortunately, you only have zero zork mids that would require one million five hundred thousand. Cameron, uh, none. Uh, oh, negative. Am I a genius? Negative ten thousand. Come on, let's be reasonable now. Fine, none. What price do you wish to charge for a megabyte of bug porn? Mm. How much did it cost me? Uh, it cost you ten grand to buy in for a megabyte. But this is also like you don't want to price it too high, or people aren't gonna buy it. I I need to make what profit. I need to make a profit. Yeah, but the profit is that you get more people to buy it. What do you mean? You I need I, I need to charge more than I paid for it. Not necessarily, because you could have more people buy it. Oh, that's true. That's true. Uh, <laughs> but you I know need... how markets work. <laughs> I for, I didn't I forgot that the porn <laughs> is is like it's transfer. I can sell one piece of porn to more than one person. Yeah. I was thinking about it like a product, like a like a book. I made one book. I can sell one book, but I, I don't know what price. Are we talking like what are Zork Zork mids? Like what's a lot? I don't know. You're the president. And you had two million. <laughs> um. Uh. Ten th ten thousand. Ten thousand. I don't know how much Zork mids. You paid 10000 to make a megabyte, and you're like, uh, yes, if you want to download my megabytes. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't that seem reasonable to you? You think, you think that's good for the bug consumer? <laughs> Fine, 1000 A lot of money for porn. I don't know what the conversion rate on Zork mids is. Think it might be like a yen situation? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Well, let's see. Ten. <laughs> Ten. Uh, fifty. I don't know how many people. Fifty. Okay. Juvenile bugs posing as health inspectors gave your product the thumbs up. Everybody wants to see the dry weather makes thirsty bugs. Clamor for your product. Bugs oh. seem unaware of porn today. You made 200 megabytes of bug porn at $10,000 megabyte. You sold 61 megabytes of bug porn at $50 a megabyte. Budget 2 mil. mil. GDP wow. 3050. I told you I should have charged wow. more for the porn. I was wow. right. You were wrong. You were right. I'm sorry. How many Zorkwits do you want to order the bug Federal Reserve to print? Oh my god, Cameron. Uh, I guess we'll let your successor worry about the inflation problem. Well, you've got all the money. I've got all the money. So that you don't have to play the mini game anymore. Uh, do I want to get meteorites, meteorology satellites? Determine Maybe accurate and precise drugs. weather for it or bug drugs. Drugging the water supply will pacify delinquent. I mean, I just, as a president, I just flooded the market with cheap, affordable bug porn and then tanked the economy. Yep. Drugging the water supply will pacify delinquent bugs, keeping them off the streets. Oh, hey, Dad Plaid. Hey, I'm only on mobile at the moment, so I can't stay, but I just wanted to say hey and pay my daily stream taxes. Thank you so much for supporting the stream and paying your taxes and for tipping the stream wizard. Thank you. Uh, and keep them out of trouble and not coincidentally staying home and watching bug porn. Yes! We need them to... It's sunny. Okay. Bug assets. Cost to produce bug porn. 10,000 zork bits per megabyte. How many megabytes of bug porn do you wish to make? I mean... 
I don't. I just have all the money. <laughs> you do have all the money. Uh, I don't know, like a thousand, like ten, th ten, like, like two hundred. Didn't I do that last time? You did do that last time, I think. Well, we're gonna do it again. Papa Bannerads. Like a hundred. The word out about the bug porn. Now that we've got the word out about the bug porn, we're going to infest them with pop-up ads. No, I think the pop-up ads are for the bug porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know about the bug porn. Oh, they're for the bug porn. A thousand. Mm. Hey, Zoe, fuck you. <laughs> I, I'm, I thought this game would have a more accurate depiction of the porn economy. I'm sorry. I was going to do that. I was going to price double. 20,000. It's not you. It's my inability to distinguish you from the prey. Okay. Okay, that's kind of funny. The in-house bug porn musician decided to make bug new wave today. Nobody's quite sure what to make with it. Make of it. Bugs marveled at your low prices and kept coming to your door long after you ran out of porn. You made 200 megabytes of bug porn. You sold 200 megabytes of bug porn. Uh, see, we just got more money. Uh, we're good. That confident, huh? Well, yes, well, I, 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 well, I, yes, I, I did make a lot already. My roommate is back. Today's weather is cloudy. I feel like that could work for us. It's cloudy. People are gonna want to stay in and watch bug porn. An outbreak of frog STDs in bug porn actors is driving production costs up. Oh no. Well, luckily. No, the frog STDs? Uh, we're gonna make a thousand. Uh, yeah, a thousand. How many pop up ads do I wish? Uh, a hunt. A thousand. Th thir Thirty thousand. 20,000. Okay, a little bit more. A little more pricey. 25,000. Okay. <laughs> oh, whoa. The in house bug porn musician decided to make bug Motown today. Nobody's quite sure what to make of it. And you ran out of porn. Yeah, we made a bunch. Made a bunch of porn, sold a bunch of porn. Wait, our profit was minus 2 million. I forgot. I, I bought a bunch of pop-up ads as well. Ah. I forgot to take that into account. Oh, what, what did we lose? Two million. Oh my god, Cameron, <laughs> you're literally rigging the fucking economy. I don't know. Who cares? Padlocks available. Adding padlocks to bug porn storage warehouses will cut down on shrinkage considerably. This is a trick. It, it looks like it's locked. <laughs> Bug weather, hot and dry. Okay, okay, okay. We, we got this this time. So we're going to make... 12,000 to make bug porn. We're, we're going to make 1,000 megabytes. Uh-huh. And this costs 15,000. We're going to make 1,000 pop-up ads. Mm -hmm. So... 1,000... 15, so we can just add the 15,000 onto the 12,000. We need like 35,000. Yeah. 35,000? What are we doing here? Be yourself. Uh, you sold zero megabytes of bug porn. Why did we not sell any of the bug porn? What happened? Is it expensive? But 20, 25,000 was super affordable. 27 million. Uh, presidential swimming pool. Yes, please. We're done taking a break here. We need to get back to work, huh? Got the, the swimming pool. 
Bum, bum, oh, bum, the bum, warehouse bum, bum. burned down and all of it was lost. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no. Thank you. I missed that. Oh, that's tragic. All my bug porn. I worked so hard no. to produce it. All the bug porn. Oh, let's... It's hanging out. Is that it? <laughs> Jim Storm Dancer. Code Jim Storm Dancer. Okay, I think that might have been it. You did kind of skip the bug porn mini game. I they gave me an option to just print as much money as I wanted. They did. That's true. I had one successful batch of bug porn. <laughs> Oh, whoa. Oh, no, not the oh, bug porn. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dude, is this TOS? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, oh, wait, shit. No, wait, shit. It's okay, it's censored. It's okay. Full screen off? Oh, no, I was gonna... Oh, when I'm clicked out, it goes... It stops. I was gonna try to cover it with my, my webcam. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we can go back in full screen then. It's just more bug oh, porn. Yo. Is he eating ass? It might be. As far as Twitch is concerned, no. <laughs> well, thank you all for joining us for some bug porn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Zephias, for redeeming your daily tax. Welcome to the yeah, bug the porn show. Moment. Oh, was that it? Is it over? Pretty sure. It's a pretty short game. Game of the decade is right. There was way less math in that than I thought there was going to be. Photography. <laughs> no stock images here. This is all custom made bug porn. You paid so much for it. That's that's not even a bug. That's just a leaf. That's a stem of a leaf. Are you sure? Stick bug. Well, I don't think so. Oh, oh, those are bugs, but they've blurred the wrong part of it. Yeah, well, that's what. Yeah, the, the bugs are over there. That's funny. Because they're camouflaged. Oh my god. It's acrobatic. Bugs know how to party. Damn, is that bee fucking a flower? Holy. You know it. In memory of beard number two, I, 2007 to 2012. I was going to say, I hope that's a per, they're not a person. Uh, I assume that's probably one of their beards. That's one of their beards. You finished Frog Fractions, our certified Frog Fractioneer. But are you ready for the ultimate Frog Fractions experience? Buy the Hop's iconic Cap DLC and experience a day in the life of a frog wearing a hat. It'll feel as though you are playing an entirely different Frog Fractions game. Is, is it just the same game but with a hat? I think I haven't I haven't bought it. I I assume it's the same game with a hat. Hop's iconic cap. It does appear to be the same game, just wearing a hat. I I will not be purchasing the hat. Thank you. Just take me to the sound test. 
Oh my god, what? Civil servant? They sound like Minecraft villagers. <laughs> mer, 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 mer. Apparently, it's a different game. It's a different game? Er, apparently, buying the hat gives you Frog Fractions 4. Frog Fractions 4? Yeah, there's four games. <laughs> well. Is this, is this the game? I'm stuck here now. You start the game wearing the hat. We promise you just save slot before being dumped into what seems like frog fractions, but it's very much not. I won't spoil that for you. Okay. What? Interesting. Well, that might be an adventure for another day, potentially. I hope everybody enjoyed Frog Fractions. Uh, that's a that's a real treat. Game of the year, game of the decade edition. Game of the decade. The last one's called Eyes Open. This is just us in the pool. With with the the turtle and not the not the dragon, I will say. Where's our dragon? We didn't make the dragon VP or anything like that. My hands with your pal. Yeah, that's it. Oh no! I accidentally. Uh oh. <laughs> really quit. I do like just hanging out here. Oh look, it's a different different uh, image this time. I guess it's just a random image each time. I'm dancing. Oh. Oh, I got moves. How many moves? <laughs> this is so weird. What a weird game. What a great game though. Right? I can see how it won game of the decade. All right. Blast. I I was having some fun. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, what do you uh, what do you want to do now? <laughs> Man, I'm kind of up for anything, again. Ooh, look at him wiggle. Let's switch over to the cam cam here. Quit to main menu. Really quit. I'm sorry, frog <laughs> fractions, but we're all done with you for now. Let's see what I got here. What can we do? Um, oh man, we should play Witchet again sometime. Get everybody on. That'd be great. Yeah, that'd be a fun time. Oh, you know what I will say? I do have to open up my window. One moment. It's very hot in here. Mm. That PC is going. Apologies if you hear any uh, strange sounds from outside. Ooh. Don't worry, it's just me yelling. <laughs> from uh, from a different province. I don't know what you're talking about. You're outside. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Escape simulator, draw full, don't starve, divinity. 
DB. DBD. Divinity's great. It's just like such a. I've already done the first. I've already done uh, Joy Island. Joy. What is it? Joy Fort Joy. Fort Joy. Mm. I already done Fort Joy so many times. No, 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 no. Not that. Creator dashboard, please. Okay. Always that uh, last double action boogaloo. Oh, God. Double action boogaloo is something else. I am going to run a quick ad break. And I'm going to change to I'm going to change to just chatting for a second. I mean uh I'm unsure if they'd be interested, but I know that Eric and Jack are around. Oh hoo hoo. Interesting. Jack got off work early apparently. Oh, that's nice really for him. Early. Yeah. He left to go to work and then there was no work so we came home. Yeah, that doesn't sound like early. That sounds like uh that sounds like he's back. He showed up and uh, got... He just took coffee out of the break room and left. He just didn't want to hang out with you anymore. I understand. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty insufferable. Um, What else was I going to... Hold on. Let me see if I've got any solo games up here that I might want to tr try out. Voop. Um, I gotta get back into Titan Souls. Finish that off, I guess. Uh, if I if I can. Uh oh, you know what? I should pro. You know, I should play. That might be fun. What? Not Everhood. We have to get together with Zach at some point and do the the, fu the yeah, ending yeah, yeah. for that. Absolutely. That'd be very fun. Um, oh, I was looking at something just now. Where was it? Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play Outer Wilds. Ooh. Uh, what am I going to call the stream? Easily distractable distractable space explorer sure And there we go. Okay, got my controller here. I've been lurking for a bit, but now I can say hi. Oh, hello, the philosopher Tentacles. I don't know what you prefer to be called. Tentacles? <laughs> philosopher? This game is so loud, I forgot. Tentacles, philosopher, the. Also, such good choices. Holy shit, that's loud. JD, philosopher, Tentacles, the is good too. <laughs> Whichever you prefer. I think I will go with. Tentacles, Tentacles. I think that sounds fun. There we go. Side stream for me. Oh yeah, sure, no problem. Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. We're gonna go uh, explore some space. So most people go with. Well, there you go. 
I'm all about conforming with the the masses, so. Conformity is great. You should never stand out any time ever. No. And I mean this absolutely. Irony is unreal. Sarcasm? They made that up. Okay, I I don't remember anything about this game. Did I break <laughs> gravity? Yes. What is that? Headlights off. Headlights on. Uh, B? No, no. How do I free look, roll? How do I lock on again? I don't remember. Uh, probably press L? I'm press mm -hmm. I'm pressing left in. How do I match velocity? Can you do it on the map? Uh hold on. Controls. Fuck uniqueness. Yeah. Fuck uniqueness. Uh t -t -t view map. Flight. I need flight controls. Up thrust, down thrust, roll mode. Lock on is press. Were you pressing right in? No, I was left? pressing left in. Just wasn't doing anything. There. How do I match velocity now? A. Okay. There we go. We're good. We're good. You can tell I'm a conformist by my hair. Exactly. I. That's the vibe I get from you, honestly, is the first thing that I see. It's like, I bet that, uh, I bet that this person is all about conforming. Absolutely. Uh, Brittle Hollow we're going to go to, just because, well, sure. We're going to Brittle Hollow. I haven't yeah. been here before yet. Remember to use your... Uh... Yes. Nope. Uh, nope. Yes. Nice no, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Oh, God. I'm sure you're fine. Let's uh, get up. Just learn a little. Am I good? That's good enough. There we go. There you go. Golden. Okay, remember to suit up. Wait, pre flight checklist? Since was there a pre flight. Uh, oh. Freeze time while talking to others. Wait, what is this? I don't remember this last time. Those are options, I think. Can be tri triggered with a separate button press. Oh, gosh. It's my... I'm getting, like, some frame drops. Only when I'm in there. Only when I'm doing this. Oh, well, I maybe. mean, at least you don't have to worry about frame drops when it's just a static image. Yeah, it's true. Freeze time while translating text, freeze time while reading ship log, freeze time while talking to others, translator auto equip, jetpack auto boost, or any time upward thrust. Okay, this is fine. Who cares? Open the hatch. Take me down. Oh, is there anybody here? How do I open up? Oh! Oh! Uh oh! Oh no! My spaceship! Fucking tree! Okay. Well, you don't leave it like that. <laughs> I, that's fine. Okay, okay, for sure. sure. The hell was that sound? How do I flashlight? Okay, there we go. That's flashlight. There's okay, how do I that. signal scope? Okay, there we go. Is this? That's very far away. That's very. That's not the one. It's that. That one. It's like right here. Okay. Oh, it's this thing. Tower, Tower shard. shard. Oh, isn't... Can't I... Yeah, well... <laughs> yeah, it goes away when I'm not looking at it. What the hell was that? Something. How do I... Can I run? I don't remember. Can I run or do I just move at the speed that I move? I think you just kind of just move. Oh, hey! Oh, Shammy is raiding with a party of six! Well, howdy, everybody! Welcome to the stream! Am I getting, uh, frame drops? No, I'm all good. Wow, thank you so much! Welcome, everybody! Uh, how do I... 
Work the signal scope. I don't remember. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm kind of in the way. Do do do. Uh, there's nothing much down there, anyways. Uh, retrieve scout. Hold. That's fine. Okay. Well, howdy there, everybody. Oh. Saucy. Oh my god. Welcome to the stream. What is happening? Oh, was I that slow? Is the sun already... Do I not have my jetpack on? I can't... How come I can't go up? Can you just hold a jump? I, I am doing that. Is it a different button then? Is it a different button? Nope. Hope your stream is going amazing. It's going pretty good. We just got done with some frog fractions. Uh, and now we're, we're just playing some uh, space exploration. Um, oh, there's something here. Let's see. Uh, the trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander around freely. The entire plant roots and all. This is not normally for an alien planet. Oh, wow. If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant or my brain must be. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his note. Oh. Alarmingly, this isn't only the trees. There are other matter... There is other matter in this area, such as the unusual shards of rock moving in the same eerie way. This rock is unusual for another reason, too. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. This rock shard presence is significant. We should study it. Yeah, sure. Okay. Whatever. How do I... I haven't played this game in a while, so I need to check out my controls. Uh, jetpack boost is A. Why is? Can you just press it again. It might be a controller thing. Cause earlier I couldn't. You just press A again while you're in the air. I'm I'm trying it. Huh. Am I out? No, I'm not out. That's so weird. No, I just totally can't. It's not working for me. Which might be trouble, because I think I'm stuck in this, uh... Oh, hello. Oh, we can go in here. Oh, no. Now, oh, I just... It, it jetpack forced me off the... Well? Welcome to the stream, everybody. <laughs> Whoopsie-daisies. Oops. Little little accident there. <laughs> and we're back. Let's try that again. It must be weird for these people how you just kinda take off with the launch codes without Yeah, I just them. I just know them already. How bizarre. Was it did I accidentally do something with the pre-fight checklist? I don't think so. I need to make sure. Ah! It's not the same button. It said it was the same button, and it's not. Oh. It's, it's right trigger. Weird. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh, holding A is to fire the jetpack booster. And we run out of jetpack booster. I see. Okay, we're fine. We're, we got this. Now we know what we're doing. We're ready to actually begin exploring. So here's what I feel. Let's go do something exciting, huh? The hell is that? I assume that's the Adel Rock. Is that the one I was on? That's the moon. Oh, the moon. Right, 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 right. And that there is Giant's Deep. Scary. And 
Okay. That's the thing that we were just on. Mm -hmm. And there is Dark Bramble. Okay, what do we say? We go have a run at Dark Bramble. Give a uh, give the viewers something exciting to. <laughs> I hate Dark Bramble. Yeah, Dark Bramble sucks, but we have to go there eventually. We gotta figure it out. Sprinting to end game areas. Is it end game? I don't know. I haven't played this game. I should. I'm uh I'm just trying to go. You know, explore. I mean, there's someone in there. I didn't realize there's multiple entrances. Okay. All right, we're going into Dark Bramble, folks. Uh, warning for anybody who doesn't like monsters. <laughs> it's or a, it's a little fish. scary. Me. Or or fish. Well, they're monsters. A giant anglerfish, Cameron. Yeah, like giant monster anglerfish. Oh. Oh, you figured it out finally, huh? Uh oh, I was just going into the red one. Why would you go in the red one? Red one means bad, danger color. But it didn't. It did. It didn't exactly. Like, I was kind of fine. It wasn't an anglerfish. Oh, there's a red one right here. Okay. There are giant anglerfish in here. So, but this shouldn't be an anglerfish. This should be just like a bulb. I guess I should. I, I can check. Uh, I mean, it's it's there. It's a bulb. I think the red thing might be something else, though. You know? I think maybe if I went to the red every time, I'd get somewhere else. Maybe. Oh, God. Well, can I... Okay. That doesn't actually work. Because I haven't loaded the area yet. Is that the right one to go through? Okay. Get in there. Now where do you go? Well, I need to wait for the area to load in. There we go. We're in now. Okay. Straight ahead. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We went right past all of it. I'm taking pictures as I go. You guys can't see it because my face is covering it, I realized. Oh, Sorelia has just subscribed. Thank you very much for the subscription. I appreciate it. It always like flings to the side. There we go, let's see there. No, oh, maybe it's, it thing. must be that one. I'm right, right on it, so it's about 805 meters away. I am going to, really quick, move my face move cam. Move that cam. And move my alert box elsewhere. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna make a go for it uh, and hope that none of these other lights get me. Thank you, Nick Divinos, for helping Stream Wizard cast spells. I'm sure the Stream Wizard very much appreciates it. 
wizard wizard solidarity. wizard to wizard exactly we're just drifting through here <laughs> oh, I hit it. I hit the thing. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, okay, we're good, we're good. Should probably use your, your thing. My what thing? Oh, that's definitely it. What the hell? How do I, what am I doing with this? You gotta go in. You think? I don't know if I'll fit. I don't. Like, I just bounce off of that. I don't think I go in there. Well, maybe the ship can't fit. Oh hell! Anglerfish want to hug you. I hope not. I hope they don't want to hug me. I mean, I appreciate that they want to hug me. A scout can go in. I did. Did I just miss before? Well, hazard, hazard, duplicate signal. Oh. <laughs> okay, well. Do I, can I get in? Where's the duplicate? That's a great question. Error duplicate signal. So does that mean that this isn't actually the place where... Like, is that not actually where I'm supposed to go for this? Look around. Okay. Oh, oh. It's all the way over there. After I send it in. Oh, hey. Snazzy. Oh, Binkman, you played this? That doesn't surprise me. It seems like your sort of seems like your sort of game. Clever. Okay. This is funky. Okay, take a second to look around. I spy no anglerfish. Which, in some ways, scares me. I'm just gonna keep going. It's just straight, I guess. No need to look around. Okay. So that's an anglerfish, but it's like a dead anglerfish? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's like a campfire and stuff. Oh. Can I land on that? There's trees. Let's... How do I rotate again? Isn't it like it's one of these buttons? Nope. Uh, I mean, shows in the top left, right? Uh, hold. Oh, right stick. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, 
gosh. This is... Uh, uh, hold... No, no, stop that. Roll. Go up. Okay, this is... I'm still getting the hang of this controls. I, I'm, I'm working on it. So sorry. Apologies. What is happening? Amory. I, I, I'm as confused as you are right now. <laughs> I'm trying not to land sideways. I don't think you can get in there with your ship, Cameron. I think I can. Like, yeah. I totally can. I was just hitting a tree. Boom. I mean, I am, you know... And then, that's good. Okay, what is this? Feldspar. Hey, Feldspar. Whoa, where'd you come from? No one's come here and well, ever actually. That makes you the second Hearthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. You don't need to land. I, I half landed. Say, it's you. They made you an astronaut. You haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you. We all thought you were dead for sure. Killed off by thorny extra-dimensional plants that ex entirely violate the laws of time, space and time. A couple of giant predatory fish with gaping maws and enormously sharp fangs. Not in this lifetime, buddy. I set up camp here when my fish ship got stuck in Dark Bramble. Been living off of the land ever since. Cool. Oh, look at this. I can still kind of move my... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Provisal? Visor? So, so what exactly happened to your ship? It's a good story. I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep and needed a new challenge. None of us had ever been inside Dark Bramble, so I think, hey, let's give that a try. I'm cruising around for a while, dodging the odd, massive, interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, when well, I run into this huge anglerfish, the biggest I've ever seen. I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off, nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me and knocks me into a vine, and, well, like I said, I crash. Blammo. On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming from apart from the inside, and I think, well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before my electric, the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. Uh, it's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between myself and my poor fried ship. I camped out near where it crashed at first. I found the skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid not to use it. So I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. Uh, I can't believe you didn't die. You know, in the old days, I used to think the same thing every time I came back from a flight in one piece. These days, I'm used to it. Anyway, that's how it all went down, Hatchling. Story's over. Feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Okay. Anything else you wanted? I found something. Where should I explore here? Reach the core of Giant's Deep. Where's your ship? What happened to this anglerfish? Shouldn't I tell ground control to come get you? Or not? I'm good. I found something. What did I find? Actually, never mind. I did not find anything. <laughs> So, that's a little funky. Do I go in these things? Probably not. How many cycles? Uh, like, I don't know, like five, six, something like that. Like, I'm still early on. I still don't know what I'm doing. Ooh. So we got Feldspar marked. Hole is too tiny. Okay, hole's too tiny. Can't go through there. Uh, I could... I could shoot in there, but then I'm already in there, right? It's kind of a bit of a catch-22 moment. But check out the spot by his ship. Oh, oh, it went flying past me just now. Oh, that's weird. Okay, check out the spot by his ship. Is the ship the red... Blinking light. Is that what that is? 
non-Euclidean geometry. Ain't that, ain't that the truth? It's very cool. I'm guessing his ship is the. Well, actually, I want to talk to him while I'm here. I'm guessing his ship was the the red blinking light in here. Uh, I wanted to talk about Giant's Deep. That was a wild one, but since you're asking, I assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you, it kind of feels like cheating. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my shap ship crashed into. Yep. Big hollow vine. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. You'll want to go to the trail, the tail end of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That'll be my old ship path starts there. Okay. Like, just me, or... Uh, there's a red light in Dark Bramble here. Oh, God. I don't think I just want to take off without my... What red light? Hint, hint. <laughs> oh, ow. Whoops, I hit the fire. I don't think... I want to take my ship over there, ideally. You don't need ship. Okay, I don't need ship. All right. I guess I'll just start a... Start going this way towards this flickering light. Okay. So that's his ship. Oh, not that way. We're going the other way. You don't want to check out his ship? Uh, I guess I should I should check out his ship. Just see. I mean, I doubt. It doesn't look like I can get in it. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't think there's anything going on here. We're just going to keep on moving. Big hollow vine. Uh, uh, I do have, um, I have a thing I made, uh, on reroll for NeckDivinos that I can send you. Oh, oh, god. Okay. The art change. NeckDivinos needs to know what she looks like, I guess. Yeah, she well, she's never, she's never, no, never seen a mirror. No mirrors? No mirrors. I'm running out of fuel, kind of. I gotta just start walking it. Hmm. This whole area gives me the heebies. The heebie-jeebies. There's a jellyfish. Tip for something. I'm going to say not one. Crashes three. Boring crashes zero. Personal best. Oh, ho, I never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant's Deep. Oh, okay, so there's jellyfish in Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here, too. Blur. This thing tastes terrible. The outside's all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from being zapped by electricity. Right, I'm going to inside this jellyfish's interior cavity to see if what's in there tastes any better. So should should I then too go inside the jellyfish's interior? Read. Note to Feldspar, do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish were only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Okay, so the jellyfish give you insulation from electricity. Good to know. Uh, I also think we are... I think the sun might be exploding. So I think we got here just in time. But now we learned something, and we got to the middle area in Dark Bramble. 
Go team. Impending doom. <laughs> yeah, that's right. At least I... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Well, at least my doom is already impending. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, I made it, I made it back. We're all fine, I mean, fine for a moment. So is it is it worth it to come back here to go after that red light in Dark Bramble, or is the red light night like not a thing that I should be trying to get to? I'm gonna die with this jellyfish. Okay. That was the most productive one we've had yet, maybe. Uh, maybe not. Maybe the one where we got to the center of uh, the Mars-ish planet was pretty good. <laughs> Up to you, explorer. Go to what looks interesting, or go based on some uh, based off something in Shiplock. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I think if uh, if I want to go after the red light. Let's go. Let's go for the red light. Let's give an attempt at the red light. Uh, I have... I tried once before. The first time I got to Dark Bramble, I tried to go for the red light. And I got eaten. So... Have you told the guy at the camp yet about the red light? Or... Oh, oh, just about how I keep dying. Uh like the guy I spawned next to. I did. He did not believe me before. I usually don't stick around for very long. It's made a bit of a rush. The anglerfish are hungry. They need their num-nums. I'm sure nobody feeds them out there. I'm really just doing them a service. Uh, Where are you, Dark Bramble? Actually, hold on. I'll just map. And then... Dook. There we go. That's the way. Have you done the twins yet? I, I started to do the twins. I looked and got to the center of the Ember Twin area, uh, but I didn't get to explore it very much because I got there pretty late in the day. Um, and I explored the Ash Twins, the Ash Twin a bit more, I think. But I also think I ran out of time. I get very easily distractible. I go went right into the sun. Autopilot is dumb. Careful. Uh, uh, yeah. Autopilot is dumb. Am I right? That was totally autopilot. I didn't just, like, not pay attention and then almost drive right into the sun. I need to go to sleep now, but have a great rest of the stream. Have a great night, Lily. I looked at that comet. I looked at the interloper. That was fun. It works well, but you gotta make the smart decisions for it. That makes sense. I should probably use it more often, because... Okay, we're going for red light. I have no idea. I'm just going to go for it. I should be using the signal scope to figure out, like, what's the deal with the anglerfish and try to stay away from them, maybe. There's lots of hidden lore in this game, and that is needed to make sense of what is going on. That makes sense. That makes sense to me.
I'm already so dead. <laughs> that guy was so close. Holy crap. Did I just avoid him? How did I do that? I'm so lost now, though. Holy crap. Hide behind this. There's one, like, right there, and I'm so lost. <laughs> no. I mean, I'm done for now, right? Oh yeah, I'm done for. He's right there. Back up, back it up, back it up. I didn't back it up. I did back it up? Ah! I backed it up. <laughs> did I go out? Am I out? What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? Oh, whoa. I... <laughs> Hi, Tentacles. Hi, Tentacles. Welcome back. What the hell was that? <laughs> okay, okay. We took some damage. Can I fix that? I don't remember. Exit hull to repair. Yes, I can fix that. Okay. Why do I keep drifting? Stop drifting. I'm drifting towards it. Better to find another quest for now, mate. Yeah, it seems like maybe a wise idea. I'm just trying to stabilize so I can get out of my ship. Well, I'm actually just gonna fuck off. Uh, let's see. Where, where, where to go? Where to go? Damn, I did so much better the first time I did this. Match velocity works even when it doesn't show on controls. Oh, okay. Uh, The Hourglass Twins seems like something I need to do. I mean, Brittle Hollow seemed fine. Let's go to Brittle Hollow. Brittle Hollow seems like a wise place to start. Have you found the moon? I did find the moon. I went to the moon. There was a guy on the moon that I talked to. What? What is that? There's a lot of bright stuff over there. Like a little smattering of stars or something. The moon was fine. Uh, it was just a guy on there. He just talked to me a little bit. There's other exploding stars all over. Oh, that's what that is. Oh, this big red thing must have been what was making all those noises when I was here last time. Yeah, it looks like it's got lava all over it. The quantum moon. I don't know what the quantum moon is. There's just a moon. I almost thought you meant quantum moon. Oh, no. I, I'm not familiar with a quantum moon. <laughs> I'm talking about the the main moon, like a normal, normal boring moon. <laughs> okay, so there's a cool inside on this. Where's the best place to land? I don't want to. I don't want my ship to get hit. Uh, yeah, let's just land on the surface. Uh, I always forget. Uh. There we go. I'm very bad at landing. <laughs> My ship controls could definitely use some work, but you know what? That was pretty good. This whole planet is falling apart. Well, that makes sense. It's a... Uh... Yeah, there we go. I know what I'm doing now. 
Trees discovered. Nice. Is there anybody on this planet? Oof. Oh, a ma meteor hit that. Uh, there's an unknown signal. Like 304. That's on this planet. It's got to be on this planet. I don't know what these projection stones are about. I, uh, insert. Oh. What the. What the hell was that? <laughs> what was that? Okay. You'll probably skip out on the landing cam eventually. Yeah, probably. For now, I need it, though. I'm gonna take that thing with me. Maybe don't walk out of it. I walked away, okay. I, I panicked. Okay. Weird. But then if I, oh, okay. Then there was other spots to. Oh wait, hold on. Can I? No. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Showing you. I I can't figure out what's uh. I think you're just seeing a different place. Yeah. So where am I? I mean, Is I'm probably I'm probably yeah, Brittle Hollow. Huh. And if I take this, there's another one down here. Let's do the same thing. Oh, it does something different. Go put on the other thingy now. It probably talks about it. Untranslated writing. Why too close? Untranslated. Why isn't that the whole thing that you translate? That's That's your job. That's so how close you are to it. You're a bit closer. Not too close. Oh, it says too close. And I back up and it says untranslated. <laughs> am I missing something? Am I am I an idiot? C controls top right. Uh, oh, oh right. I forgot. I have to hold it. I am a fool. I am an idiot. I'm on I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to Quantum Moon. Oh, this is about Quantum Moon. You're we just talking about it. This is a different color. This is orange. That's exciting. You're almost ready, but still there's there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. West to the crossroads. My gratitude for the directions, Bell. I'll see you soon. Okay. Crossroads past the west. I forgot I had to hold it. I uh, I was just going for it. There's a door out here. Hmm. Interesting. I think I maybe didn't get here quick enough. There's something down there. <laughs> Path to the west. So that's the north. So that must, that's the west. I'm learning, bear, bear with me. <laughs> Crossroads path to the west. This is west, yes. Never, no, that's north, or sorry, not north, that's east. Never eat shredded wheat. This would be west. But this is also the direction where everything is falling apart. I'm also not seeing a path. But also, I'm just trying to get to the opposite side of the... Oh, here we go. Here's something. I've... Turn on the flashlight here. It's all uh, the... It's all coming from that... That, uh, that moon thing, right? 
Oh, hello. Or not a moon thing. It's more of a star, I guess. It's made of fire. There's also there's a a frequency. I guess it's just down more than. <laughs> Excuse me. That's no moon. It's a min? Oh, ghost particles. I forget what I do with these. I mean, not go in it. Because they kill me. Uh, but it looks like there's nothing else there, either. Uh, I use my camera. That was it. Oh, look, there's, there's stuff here. The journey here from the South Pole has been... I'm going to go with harrowing. Uh, because of the... Yeah, the camera. I, I remember that. Uh, because of all of the meteors, but hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. Okay, I poked around a little, and there's some sort of old know my path that starts across from my campsite inside the ruined building with trees growing out of it. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path and see where it leads. Okay, with the trees growing out of it, this one. And there's stairs leading down. I can do stairs. Oh, right, right. The crystals. <laughs> oh, okay. I forgot. It's just been a minute since I, I played this for the first time. This is the second time playing it. Um, okay, and then just like that. I love everything this game does. It's so cool. I hear. I hear you. You're just right there. Just down a little bit further. The Hanging City. It's super cool. Well, howdy there. Rybeck. Turn around lore? What lore did I miss? This is an up, isn't it? I thought this was an up. Is that not an up? Oh, here. Lore. And Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I made it. Oh, is this the elevator? Oh, okay. I need to talk to... Oh, my God. Look at that. looks like something else. I need to talk to this guy first. Hi. Launch. Great to see you. Wow, I guess I've been out here a while. This is Brittle Hollow. You probably knew that. Uh, lots of fish here. It's great. What are you doing here? I just dreamed to see it with my four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. You missed a big mural. Is that up above? An alien race lived in the solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, you probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody I'm out here. Do you want to know why I even got this far? I fell, tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me bother, did you? That'd be, heh. Oh, I saw the Sunless City on Ember Twin. Oh, I have something to tell you this time. You mean there's another Know My City inside of Ember Twin? That's incredible. A whole city, and I had no idea it existed. This is great. How did they keep the sand out? If it were me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves by that awful reverse sand. Yes? Correct. Gosh, no, my sure were ingenious building an entire settlement underground, the Sunless City. Wow, that means there were two group of Nomai, one that lived on Ember Twin and one that lived here on Brittle Hollow. But they must have traveled around the solar system, since Nomai writing can be found on all other planets too. Found on other planets too. Uh, okay. I already got that. Where should I explore here? Okay, that's unhelpful. Uh, not the black hole, actually. It's very no. Which is unfortunate, because the most exciting stuff you can find is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. 
There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, you probably path beneath it, beneath the crust. Good luck with exploring. Okay. I don't need to know what he's doing out here. My time is better spent trying to get back to that mur mural. I fell. Uh, this is the white hole, right? Well, yep. So, fun fact about the white hole. Uh, <laughs> we've been here, and we tried to go in, and couldn't. And then we found some stuff talking about, uh, talking about how you popped out the white hole. So, that's exciting, um, that that happened. Let's go to that. Let's just look around and find well, what's going on. This was the thing we went to last time. Uh, it's the only thing to do out here, I think. <laughs> and you know what? We didn't really get to explore here enough last time. So, uh, you know, it's good. <laughs> Sorry guys, we uh, we did trip and fall out into the black hole. Whoop. I think we've already done this, didn't we? Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fall through the black hole by accident, this warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Oh, this can prick us back. Right, I forgot about that. Uh... If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. To be standing on the warp platform. Yes. Ember Twins Projection Stone. Okay, so we got a projection stone here. We're going to take this one with us. Uh, I don't remember... exactly what we do with this oh flashlight that'll help that'll help um oh this right this this moves the the thing around right so we need to be lined up so we're spinning now and now we just wait here for us to be lined up, and then we'll get zapped back. We did this the first time when we went to Brittle, or we went to uh, Dark Bramble. We came here first, and we did this. And this is where we saw the exploding sun for the first time. And, oh, oh, did I get zapped back? Oh no! It just takes me straight back? This is a disaster. It doesn't really matter much anyways. We're probably going to be going back. Going back the long way around. But I wanted to bring this here. and I wanted to put this on the projection platform and see what it's all about. Well, if you come back the next time, you might be able to do it earlier. That is true. Is my ship on this planet somewhere? What? And you still have time. I mean, not be not quick. really. I think I already explored this stuff. I read the. Oh, there, there. Rami and I reviewed the records you sent, Poka. They appear to show Nomeyer arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Oh, weird. As I've already told Rami, these measurements can't be accurate. How can Nomeyer arrive before they've 
Yeah, the implications are absurd. As Pike is confident the readings are inaccurate. High energy lab designing. High energy lab. Canyon and Ember Twin come here at once. Okay. It won't pause while reading once music starts playing. Good to know. Noted. That was a very eventful loop. <laughs> Many things happened. Many things happened. A very exciting day in the life. <gasps> I'm also very curious what that purple thing is all about. It looks like someone's crashing. It does look that way. Okay. Um, plans for the day. Let's go back to Brittle Hollow and see if we can't, like, you know, do a better job there. Hold on. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. All right, back to Brittle Hollow. Well, we see this time we're not going to muck around trying to go to. Uh, time for that nonsense. Well, we won't try to be doing dark bramble and dying to a bunch of anglerfish, you know, all that stuff. My, did I not? Lock on Brittle Hollow? Oh, I did. We're moving along. I'm glad I've got some people in chat who, who know, you know, kind of what they're doing. Helps. <laughs> it helps. Uh, let's see. There's a, oh, there's a few things of interest here. Anglerfish equals equals no noise. Oh, okay. So I thought this last time, like just feathering and drifting through the, that makes sense. I, that's what I was uh, trying to do before. Um, I mean, both of these things look kind of interesting. I think this here looks more interesting. Let's see if we can't do Any some damage light. here. Big glowy light, I mean, hard to resist. Look, no landing camera even needed. Spacesuit, yeah, that is needed. I did try to leave early on without my spacesuit once. Uh, bad time. Is there like... Oh, whoops. Oh, well. Uh... Rust beacon. Yeah. I thought that's what it was. I saw one of these on the... One of the twins. I think it was on Ember Twin. I gotta... I, I gotta stop no, with that. Stop okay, Escape it. Pod. Escape Pod 1. Uh, is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? I'm not sure which one was on Ember Twin, but no, I, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear on your, like, the other two. Oh, yes. Escape pods distressing us, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. It is a moon. Yeah. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. Twitch is buffering bad for me. It keeps freezing up. Uh, Lily, could you, or Zoe, could you uh, 
confirm that for me. See if it is bad. Don't know why Twitch hates my computer. It might be on my end. I don't know if it is or not. I'm not getting any notifications about drop frames. But, uh... I'm on it. My research team is on it. Uh, yeah, curious. It was buffering for me for a little while, but I refreshed and it seemed to be okay. Maybe it was just like a hitch on Twitch's end? Scan complete. Minor structural instability is detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy. Hospitable. Ah, I see. Launching escape pods. Escape pod one. Yeah, no. It's like it's cutting out occasionally. Hmm, that's interesting. One sec. Let me... I wonder if it's an issue with Twitch right now. What if I just knock down the graphics a little bit? And see if this... helps it any. We'll see. We'll oh, see. well, you're streaming it at, like, 4K? I was... Whatever the default was, I was streaming it. That wasn't 4K. But think of the pixels. Things are fine for me. Okay. So it seems like it might just be a Twitch thing, then. Emergency escape hatch. Oh! <laughs> cool. I loved that. Okay. So we're gonna follow these platforms down. Seems like a fun way to go about it. Don't mind the giant black hole. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. For the crumbling platform. They are unstable. Note to self. Use caution. A black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Yeah. No kidding. Okay, okay, okay. And we're going, and we're going. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat stable, it's safer than any you've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. So I'm definitely exploring a different area than last time. Like, I'm exploring the area that these guys took. Wow. That is gorgeous. I'm glad things are good for you, Quinton. Or should I say fool? <laughs> Whichever you prefer. Well, sounds rude. Uh, given concerns about our set settlement's stability, should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. Building beneath the crusts, again, would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. What if, the gravity what if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. I agree. We're here because the eye signal called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we must not merely survive, but thrive. That is, this is a wise point, Plume, and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will help us safer, then that is what we should do. Oh, I am getting some dropped frames notifications. Mm. So there, it might be a, this might be a me issue. It wasn't until a few seconds ago, though. Real quick, take a peek, see if there's anything notable that I could easily drop back. At resolution seemed like the one to me. Dropping resolution would probably have helped. Um, well, that's interesting. Just put the resolution back again. I don't know. I'll keep an eye on it. If I see more drop frames, I'll put it back at uh, the other frame rate. Or the other resolution. Hoop. We're going this way. Oh, that's pretty. What is that? See, this suspiciously looks like a trap. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can crawl at the vessel we encountered while aboard. 
the vessel. The signal we, we carried all aboard the vessel. Signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No, no, my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? That's a great point. Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it must might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. There it is. The eye of the universe. I remember them talking about the eye of the universe. There was like a church to the eye on the Ember Twin settlement that I found there. Hmm. I'm not sure. See? Lore. I I'm paying attention. I'm a lore guy. I'm a big lore guy. I I'm just uh, easily distractible. Uh, oh, I definitely missed stuff up there. I should definitely approach an up-down situation here. Top-down situation for exploring. Well, you're also on a time limit. You only get in chunks. Yeah, exactly. Um... The time limit is unhelpful for, or is not conducive to my my approach to exploration. I wonder what my ship is doing right now. Probably exploding. Uh oh. Well. Oh, I only got three minutes of oxygen remaining, too. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, my, my approach to this just changed to be a lot more urgent. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, well, that was lucky. That was reckless and lucky. Oxygen tanks refilled. Yes. Okay. That's good. Uh, okay, first check the mural. Okay, we've got the eye signal and the Nomai ship, probably, and then Dark Bramble grabbed up the Nomai ship, and now... Okay, so there's the Nomai ship in Dark Bramble. There's some sort of teleporter, maybe? And this is Ember Twin. And this must be Dark Hollow? That's the black hole in Dark Hollow. Okay, interesting. Knowing something makes it hard to remember what it's like to not know it. That's true. I can't understand, why did the vessel crash in that place? Was the vessel unwell in some way? No, Anana and I checked before the warp and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. We warped to follow the curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. So Escape Pod 3 must be in Dark Bramble, then. Okay. That was useful. Useful info. Which direction did I come from again? I, I think I came from this way. Yes, I definitely came from this way. So we're going this way. Uh, probably it's going to get struck by a lava rock at some point. And then sucked into the black hole. We can hear the other escape pods distress signals, which gives us hope. Folly, are you still here? I am unsure how to survive in this place without you. I am unsure how to be without you. Oh. Koisa. Down bad for Folly. I'm here for this know my love story. This know my Romeo and Juliet. Oh, there's a tree. This one looks like prime volcano rock striking. 
I also, the tower, the tower of knowledge or whatever it was. I gotta find it. I gotta make my way back, but I think I'm in the complete wrong spot for that. I gotta get back to the surface if I want to go there. Okay, that's just that. Been there, done that. This is where I came from. We're gonna go back up. I think... Going... Well, there's also this. Oh, this is so freaky. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. This is messing with my brain. <laughs> okay, when I jump off of this, though, is it going to flip me around? Yes. Yes, it did. It did. It flipped me around. Oh, I'm done for. Oh, okay, we lived. Okay, we're here now. I knew it was going to flip me around. I should have had more faith. More faith in my instincts. We're pretty done for now. We're not we're not going the way that was. Oh, this is the top of the elevator. I see. We're here now. Ghost matter detected. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. There it is. Uh, and then... And red hit the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's all just down those stairs. Right? It's all just, like, down the there. The rocks, right? Yeah. The rocks creates them. Uh, surface integrity, 99%. Yep, ghost mattered nearby. I got it. You told me. I know. It's all there. Went down there? Well, I'd, I'd like to, but I'm just exploring around first. Explanation of festivals. All the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. Don't forget, festivals happen every 10 years. These are very... Oh, these are children. The the messy ones are all oh, children, yeah. and then these are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. At, the, at some festivals, the big... One big... One clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance too, like Anona's Warp Core, which made it so everyone can warp along distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. A single festival could last a long, long time. We can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go too. Well. They're stuck here? That's. It didn't end well. I think there was another uh, scroll in the shelf there behind you. Ah, there was. Good eye. Good catch. Drop it. Well, I... Drop scroll. Remove scroll. Drop scroll. Pick up scroll. There we go. Formation of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense. As this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand out at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. True. This universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day the stars and the life they support will all die. That's scary to think about. Even though Con Kanoi tells me it won't happen in our lifetime, but it'll happen in someone else's someday. That's cheery. Uh, yeah, you still died. Who needs to wait for the heat death of the universe when we have the heat death of Earth due to carbon dioxide now? Service integrity is still 99%. I sense I have hurt the mood. Uh, no, no, not at all. You are correct. You could probably jetpack over that ghost matter. I don't think so. I think I, if I wanted to do that, I should just, like, you know, go this well, way. Yeah, that would do it. Or, like, right here, maybe? 
I am getting very close to the black hole. Heat death in universe going to all to entropy. Yep. Mm. Entropy, not entropy. I can take this back now. So this is that's just that. Uh, nothing that way. That that might be the tower of knowledge or whatever. Some kind of tower. Looks real special. School district. Meltwater district. Eye shrine district. Black hole forge district. Okay. So that's the... Oh, this... Is the school district that the next floor is the Meltwater district? Then it's the Eye Shrine district, and then it's the Black Holy Forge district. Okay, we'll go. Uh... Oh, look at that! They've got the same sort of technology. Mm. So this is the Meltwater district, which probably is falling apart at this point. Black hole forge controls. Where? Like, down there? Oh, what's over here, though? Trees detected. Cool. Oh, that's where they got their water? The Ashwin project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? No one answered. Can I take the same one and put it in other places? Oh, hey, Johnny Boy in HD is raiding with a party of six. Thank you so much. Welcome, everybody. Uh, yeah, it's the same. Wow, thank you so much. Welcome. Hello, Johnny Boy. Hello, Jaffix. I like that name, Jaffix. Oh, thank you for putting in the shout out, so. Oh, I forgot. About what the Last stream wizard raider. says. Oh, that's uh, the wrong one. Black Hole Forge Controls. Um, okay. Where are we going? Oh, ah. Jimmy B is still around, but I forgot to do that last time. Ship log updated. Oh, I did something. I either activated or deactivated the Black Hole Forge. I think deactivated. It came out of the Black Hole. So... Game is a mind fuck. Yeah, uh, a bit. It's a it's a bit to wrap your head around sometimes. I just did that, so I don't know what that's about. I definitely don't have I definitely don't have much time left. But uh, we should craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. I started tonight fully blind to anything. I didn't start tonight, but I also did go fully blind. I have no idea anything about this game. I didn't even know that it looped you. I would like very much to craft a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge grew and I could recreate the basic design. This is the safest path for our clan. Is, this, is, it, is the safest path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Is it, though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and others might believe believe might be poss impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. Careful with sticking around if you don't want spoilers. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, spoilers? Am I doing anything? I guess I'm not. It's kind of a uh, non -linear, It's like an exploration so. mystery kind of game. So. Yeah. I'm definitely not doing things in a sensical order, either. I believe I can be no. of use. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of its, its designs to me. Abandoning the vessel's warp core in its cha casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true, however, it's knowledge. We have little hope of recovering, and it would be best to relearn, I think. Okay, warp core. That was the one I already went in. You have a good night, Jaffix. Yeah, have a good night, Jaffix. Thanks for stopping by.
I kind of have the attention span to pay attention to anything going on outside stream or talking to chat. I am dumb and will forget. Perfect. Then we're happy to have you on board. That is a move. What is this? You got another scroll? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I wanted to explore upstairs. Feels strange trying to recreate Anona's warp core without him. At times, it still feels strange to no longer be his young apprentice, and for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care, not his. This will always feels strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor and deeply. To have the chance to try is thrilling, but I, I don't want to disappoint anyone. I think I can do this, but what if my excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Was I wrong volunteering to build it? I was born in the star system and never saw a known as work with my own three eyes. I only... Ah, they have three eyes. <laughs> uh, oh, this... Still, all I can give is my best. As Anona would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. Alright, cool. Hmm. There's just, there was stuff up here, you know? Oh, what is... Oh! No? I thought... You have to jump. Figured it out. I don't need your help, Zoe. Oh, okay. I'm not even sure what I read and completed tonight. Uh, I went to Dark Bramble. And and found somebody in Dark Bramble. That's progress. I have a new thing on my thing. That's so helpful. A new thing on my thing. I want to have a doctor check that out. Oh, this is the surface. Well, I don't need to be here. I did still didn't look at the scroll that I found. I thought this was going to be like a quick little thing up the stairs, but uh, it turned into a whole thing. I'm going to go back. Did I just get lost? I looked away for a second. No, there we go. Whew. This is a good shortcut to remember. That's a very good point. This is a good shortcut to remember. When I want to come back. Uh, I blew up a planet, then unblew up something, or something happened right before... Yeah, I don't know. Everything be blown up. Planets be getting buried in ash. This one's collapsing. Let's read this guy. That one's so empty. <laughs> that, this is what it, this feels bad. This is like when you're on, uh, this is like when you post something on Stack Overflow and nobody answers you. You're like, I need help with this, pro with this problem. And this is the thread that you end up going to, to solve your problem. <laughs> uh, we, we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. This would require a return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father, said many good know my perished there. My mentor, Coleus, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. I saw that one. Uh, using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. I remember that anglerfish fossil. We used to play in Fossil Fish Cave when we were children. What Melore and I learned from that fossil could theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. What hypothesis? I have to go there to figure it out. I never end up going into the cavern. The vessel's warp drop core is broken. At best, recall those present when the vessel crashed said it sustained le lethal injuries. There's no guaranteed reward for this risk. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Okay. Oh, there's something else here. Even if it is no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, provided we're able to teleport it back here. Very good point. Uh, now we're gonna go up a floor. Up, 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 up. Yeah, thanks to everybody who stopped by tonight. Uh, I'll be playing this again at some point. Uh, so make sure to drop a follow if uh, <laughs> you want to get notified next time I'm playing it. We also play a bunch of stuff. Risk of Rain. 
uh, just kind of whatever we're feeling. We've been known to play Rocket League, Smite, Apex, a uh, bunch of scary games. Tomorrow, oh, tomorrow we're playing. Uh, tomorrow's Spooky Saturday. Every Saturday we play some scary games. Oh, thank Quentin. Thanks Quentin for the follow. Uh, we play scary games every Saturday, um, and so tune in to more if you want to see me probably shit my pants playing Dread Halls in VR. <laughs> and then later in the night, hear Zoe shit her pants playing Phasmophobia. Not in VR, but still funny bad. Not me. <laughs> Less funny when it's you. Mm. There's just a lot of dead people here. Uh, or something. Yeah, uh, a lot of stuff happening right now. Oh, I can't get all the way up. Wait, maybe I can go to the other one. Outer Wilds has a cool VR mod. Oh, I might have to check that out. That sounds like it would be nauseating. Can I get up here? Nope, 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 nope. Can't get up. Okay. How do I get to you? <laughs> I can't. My God, Bankman. Listen, that is a misleading quote. I can't believe you would quote me out of context like this. Ah, this is how we go. That's up. Quick, quick, quick. Maybe I'll outrun it. I didn't outrun it. Update. I did not outrun it. I've gotten a lot of dropped frames. Look at that. I gotta gotta fiddle around a bit. Looking all good now, though. Seems like it just depends. It just depends. That was a very productive day. Look at us go. Let's turn, let's, let's bring it back to this. Yeah, there we go. That should be fine and hopefully. I'll pick up the DLC for this eventually. Isn't that a, uh, that red light part of the DLC? I think so. I've heard the DLC is like, Super good. I like, mean, almost the... better than the base game, like that good. Is it that? Is it that long? I don't know how long it is, but I know it's like stellar, and it's also like more of a horror. Oh, kind of great! Thing. More of a horror. Cool, cool. DLC is tagged as horror too. Yeah, okay, that seems very cool. Uh, so that was Brittle Hollow. Let's go to Giant's Deep. Oh, you ready, Zoe? Steep. You ready? God damn it. Not ready. Uh, that reminds me, actually. I've loved uh, playing Subnautica. It was super cool. I never finished it. I never went back. Um, I stopped at one point. I don't remember why. But then it's just been so long at this point that I don't remember a lot about, like, the run that I was doing. So it would just take a little bit more effort to get back into it. You have barely scratched the surface of Brittle Hollow. I believe it. I just, uh... I want to get like a baseline of all of the planets first before I. It has a moon. Yeah. Also, it's I'm like zooming right past it, kind of. You're zooming right into it. Well, yeah, but okay. Subnautica can be tough. I played in VR, which is a bit janky. I did hear that the VR for it isn't spectacular. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're in the water. I'm not in the water. This is gas. Right. That's, That's water. Like that. Okay, how does this work? Does my... Knowing you won't have a map and need to mark things with beacons helps. Yes, absolutely it helps. I just haven't been... Uh, I, I got pretty far. Um, I have the blueprint for the spaceship. I just haven't uh, actually, you know, done... I just haven't uh, played it in a while. And so it would be a lot getting back into it. And it's uh, a little bit freaky. <laughs> Is that island moving? Yes. I probably want to land on the moving island. I think they're all moving. 
Is this like a landing pad? Doink. Okay. Supposedly they're putting the sequel's features into Subnautica. Oh, like uh, Sub-Zero? Eventually I got to cheating using the console commands for it. Uh, I've heard mixed feelings about Sub-Zero. People were like, it's pretty good, but it's not as good. The landing pad will keep your ship there if a tornado hits. Oh, good. There's some tornado signals here. Symbols here. Yeah, I don't, I don't jump very high here. The gravity must be really high because it's a gas giant. Yeah. Okay. This is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and ready to send it into orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. Those tornado pads should be remembered. I will note them. Below zero was all right. I turned off the need for food and water, which erased the pressure and chorishness. Chorishness. Uh, that's probably a good idea. I can see how that would get really uh, kind of grindy. I, I definitely feel that with uh, just regular Subnautica, I, I spend a lot of time gathering biofuel for my bio generator and uh, you know getting food and water and stuff. So I see how that would be nice. Our next step would be to send Privet up to the Morbid Orbital Probe Cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Are you doing going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they are atypical for you. Interesting. If I'm ever Gelatinous. half as gooey as Mallow and Avens ha behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. I, that must be like a translation error, right? Maybe that's just what they... What they just say? Yeah. I know my brother Avens and his spouse would want to launch the probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. I propose we give Avens and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum power possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Okay, so that's maybe good to know. Oh, oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> Freaked me out for a second. I just want to check this side too, make sure that there's... Okay. So, it's gonna... No, not this side, the other side. All right, so about... Wait, it's coming closer. The signal's Alan getting... Who? Oh. Right? Yeah. It's getting really close. Ah! Oh, no. Not the whole plant. Not the whole island. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, these are for keeping you in place in case of a... Oh my god. What oh is happening? <laughs> what is going on? up by a tornado again. <laughs> and then we went under the water. Don't all oceanic worlds throw islands into space temporarily? <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't live on an island, but uh, this seems to be what's happening. Well, Cameron, technically, all of Earth is a, all of our land is an island. It's also, that's true. That's water. true. Holy shit! That was scary. <laughs> is there another one? That's a huge tornado. Get me in. Is it coming this way? Or... The water level is different, too. Look, we're, like, partially flooded now. I think it was always partially flooded, wasn't it? 
Maybe. That's why you had to take the stairs and the thing. I'm so afraid. Is that coming? I... <laughs> I'm so afraid. I wouldn't say that continents are islands. I, I, I wonder what the definition of island is, if they count. I don't think they technically count. I'm so... We're just a game and we make up the rules. I'm so freaked. We can just change how we look at it. Definitely them. not like these. For sure, definitely not like these. Where am I even going? Oh, you can go down there. Okay, there's more... Volcano. There's more uh, tornado spots. Control module projection stone. So there's a control module on. This must be the moon outside? Yes. Oh, might be. This is the moon outside of the planet. Oh, is there some writing there? Seven minutes, nine seconds ago. Long range probe successfully launched to the orbital probe cannon. Seven minutes ago? Is that like, is that the thing? Seven minutes, 11 seconds ago. That's definitely what this is. That was that explosion that we saw. Oh boy. Okay. Are you gonna try to go across? I see something over there. The moon outside this planet. Yeah, yeah, the moon outside. There's a there, there was a moon outside moon this on planet. The of the planet. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, it's it was like a mistake. All of the other moons. It was a mistake. I forgot that uh, the the gravity is really heavy here. Let's go around. We're just gonna go around. This would be like actually fun. Yeah, this would be fucked. I would like, like, oh my god. You can use the signal scope to find your bug. Bug D? I don't know if they're bugs. They've got the multiple hands, though. Hollow projection stone. There's another projection stone. Oh, but I'm. Walk back across. I'm gonna have to. This is genuinely existentially terrifying. Buddy. Oh, buddy. Yes, I do have to find my buddy here. Oh, bug D. I they're kind of bugs. I get it. I get you. I see what you're saying. Oh, I need oh, to. I forgot. No, you can also put them there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me about it. I have bad news, Avens. Yaro says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I'm hoping. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Lasava, Kasava. I wish I were my friend, but no. They aren't certain they could fix the problem, so the orbital probe can is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Malo they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. Oh, there's another one. An update. Malo and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Adea may feel responsible. What did this one say? Brittle hollow oh. projections. Okay, sorry. I, I got I got spooked. I thought there was a tornado coming. Sloppy typing. I see. I see. There's there's a thing there. This is for brittle hollow. There's okay. This is exposed to the surface, kind of. There's one of those and one of these. Okay, noted. Something about Brittle Hollow. I think they could have come up with a better disk system, maybe. Uh, Conoy, Daz, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Do I have to repair the orbital probe cannon? 
Konoe, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Cassava and I convinced me not, or Cassava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to how it happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek below the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon, one at the T Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay. Noted. Now I gotta go find the bug buddy. That's a tornado. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Holy shit. That's awesome. You must have different understandings of the word awesome. Are you kidding? Look at that. That's so cool. And we come crashing yeah. back. And then we get plunged under the water for a second. The water scares me a lot, because I don't know what's under there. Anglerfish? No, I think the, ang the anglerfish are, are space creatures, not there was one water on creatures. Umber twin. Yeah, but th that's not water. Ember twin doesn't have water, it has space. Mm. I wonder if it's on a rotation, though, and another one of these is about to come. Because last time there was well, two in close succession. You seem phase. Oz is an emotional state, and people can react with different emotions. True, true. Run, 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 run. I really don't want to be on one of these side things. You've learned that uh, Cameron is cool and likes things, and I'm a scared little baby. <laughs> I just don't like the ocean, okay? It's scary. Zoe gets scary. freaked by the ocean. Have you watched me play Subnautica? No. Mm, I'll, have to, ever I'll have to play Subnautica sometime on stream. I think that would be very fun. I won't be there. Okay. I love swimming, but I hate that other things also swim. Oh, swimming I got some, just be for me. got some frame drops there. Okay, so the bug buddy is just under the water, it seems like. No, that's Feldspar. There's a much closer... Okay, let's go to some other planet. Man, they're all... you were so close to having them all line up. I'm gonna... Going to a different island. As I said earlier, I haven't played my gifted copy of Subnautica Ocean. Because Ocean, I'm with you, so Binkman agrees. Mm. Binkman, uh... Agrees with Finally, you about the ocean. Someone who understands. Look for smoke. Uh oh. Well, I <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait a second. Wow. You can probably get out. I don't know why I returned the suit. My suit on is on. Landing here, right? Uh no, I think I'm floaty. I feel floaty. Now I'm underwater. I told you, grew up on an island, taught ocean safety, shark safety. Yes, you did mention that. Sharks are kind of messed up. Uh oh, uh oh, they there's another one. They are kind of like dogs, but also like, not. Uh, is that gonna hit us? No? I think no, it's not going to hit us. No, I think I'm good. Let's go. Island time. Island time. I will look for smoke for the next island. But I need to visit all these islands eventually. I figure so. Okay. Statue workshop. But it's closed. 
We gotta get inside quick. We gotta hurry, we gotta hurry. This island guy, though, you need to visit a second time to learn a cool trick. Oh, okay. I need to find an, okay. Here is my tornado spot. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flux says it could be dangerous so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? The Flux specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lami, but that's prob that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flux will let us see a later test. Okay. Oh yeah, the raindrops nearby, sir. Yeah. You didn't notice that? Uh, I didn't know what it was. I thought the text was just having an issue. No, no, it's raindrops. Raindrops on my visor. This seems dangerous. Trees detected. Oh, it's another one of these things. It's another one of these things that I don't understand at all. Don't. Oh, aren't these, uh, these are the warp points, right? Welcome to Giant's Deep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in the workshop below. Maybe an island. Okay. So this is just the warp point to get to this island. Interesting. What the hell is that? That looks like a bramble. It, it looks like a jellyfish. There is a jellyfish. Okay. You think that's where that frozen jellyfish was? Uh, maybe. I gotta get off this island, I think. I, th I found everything there is to find. Uh, Are you sure? I no. think there was like a, a lower There's... part in that house you were in. Yeah, I think so too. I just don't remember which house it was. I think it was this one behind you? Is that coming? There's definitely yeah. stuff down there. I just don't know how to get down there. It wants me to launch the scout, but I don't see how helpful that would be. Hmm. Maybe you can come in from the bottom? Maybe. You can hear it when it starts coming. Oh, okay. Also, maybe lightning? Is the lightning what I'm supposed to, or the thunder what I'm supposed to be hearing? Here comes an island. Maybe swim? Oh, I don't want to do yeah, that quite yet. Oh, look. That's the island you were on. Yeah, that's the island I was on. Whirlwind. Okay, it'll sound like a whirlwind. Noted. This island's awfully big, so I would worry that I might not hear it, but uh, I will take your word for it. That one's coming. That one was coming big time. I hope this one works even though it's partially covered. Here we go, folks! Here we go! So how are you guys all doing tonight? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good time. <laughs> Seems like the frame rate issues have uh, stopped since I, I turned down the resolution. At least on my end, which is good. Do I hear another one? Is 
that one coming here? Or is he going to miss me? That doesn't sound like a whirlwind. I think you're fine. No, I think that one's missing me. Yeah. All right. Heading back to the ship. Well, maybe. I don't know. I can't get down there. I can't figure it out. You just have to go the way you came. Uh. Oh, this is the area that I saw on the other island. Oh. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go back down. Ah, the swimming thing. Yes, that's true. The swimming thing is probably how I get down there. I'm just not emotionally ready for that quite yet. <laughs> Let me be the third person to suggest doing so. Ouch! Yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was close. So I swim under... Under here? This seems foolish. I mean, go for it. You're already in the water. I, I hear a... I thought I heard one. Under where? I thought it was under... It, it's in that island there. Mm -hmm. Did I miss a spot to jump into the water to swim? I don't think so. Just jump in. Ah, oh, yes, this was it. Ah, oh, the music has begun. Time. I have precious little time. Time to go, 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 go. Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh my god! Holy. Oh no, you might die slash sarcasm. <laughs> Listen, I still don't, I don't want to die. Although I am about to die. Oh, this opens it up. Okay, cool. Noted, noted, noted. Good to know for the future. Plus I made you say underwear. Yeah, okay. A real Candace moment. You remind me of her. statues yeah more of the statues from uh from the other from the museum oh, okay well got the booster didn't you no I pressed it I just didn't do good <laughs> I don't think I jumped high enough you on the tornado pad it'll save you uh, ship log update something something statue they could see through the statues I got it Ashwin flux memory statue Ashwin corresponding nomai they share memories ah <laughs> okay so I think we'll go back there and go try to find our bug buddy, our bug D. I think that's my favorite planet so far. But I love how all the plants have cool them statues are kind of important too. I believe it. I would have spent more time reading that if uh, if I had time to spend. I also realized I definitely want to. Uh. No. Okay. Translator auto equip. Okay, that's all good. So we're gonna go back.
Maybe we'll go to that. Maybe we'll go to that instead. And then go down there. Oh, and look, there's the orbital cannon that got that got hit. Yeah, yeah, look, it's in pieces. I'm so glad about this match velocity button. It's so nice. So convenient. I'm gonna figure out what this is all about. Oh, we're not approaching it too fast, are we? Uh, no, we should have time to slow down. I don't like the evil giggling from chat here. What's what's going on? <laughs> oh. It's it's hollow. I've become distracted. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's an island. That's one of the islands. It just got vaulted out. Oh, that's hilarious. Wait, what happened with the moon? It, I went through it. It's gas. It's just gas? How does that work? I couldn't tell you. Oh, I gotta be careful like, I don't... Gas giants still have, like, a core, don't they? Look for smoke. We're looking for smoke. Gas where? Uh, I, I, there was, like, a big circle that was... Orbiting. Hey, Glotion, where's the moon now? Was it tight? Am I stupid? Would something happen with the moon just now other than it was made of gas and I, I drove through it? This looks like some dark bramble shit. It does. It looks like some dark bramble shit for sure. Also notably, no landing pad on this thing. It wasn't made of gas. Did it teleport away? Is that the quantum moon? <laughs> ah, here we go. There's the gas. Was that quantum moon? Oh, there's not... There's no landing pad. Oh, hell. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Disappearing gas. Oh, <laughs> quantum moon. Gabbro. Yo, Gabbro, what's up, man? Gabbro. <laughs> quantum moon. The act of observing it changes its behavior. Yeah, no landing pad on this one's spooky. Glad to see you made it here in one piece. First solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? Hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly? I don't know, it's pretty weird. Oh, you know! No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusual. I... Dude! Dude! I mean, we're about to find out what happens. I'm gonna stay in this dialogue with him. You're taking this pretty well. <laughs> I... I gotta get under this thing so that it at least drags me down with it. I, the ship has landed though, right? The ship's gonna be fine. Okay, we're good. We're good. Ship is still here. Is that one going or coming? I think it's coming. Dude, you picked the worst island. If you're watching Cyclone for so long it started to hypnotize you, I'm telling you, it'll put you in a trance if you stare at him long enough. I found something? 
I reached the inside of Statue Island. Okay, now you're reaching, Binkman. <laughs> I reached the inside of Statue Island. So the Nomai created those head statues to record memories. Huh? Yeah, I should... I could see the Nomai doing that. Not sure what for, but it seems like their sort of thing. Do you think the statues are recording our memories then? Because I remember that one on the beach looked at me funny. It m that must be my memory friend. <laughs> Oh, so he has he remembers us dying because he had a Nomai statue that he looked at. Have you ever watched a cyclone? And so it's recording all of his memories, despite the fact that we're in a time loop. Have you ever watched a... Okay, he just says the same thing. Uh, what should I explore in Giant Steep? Here's something you might like. At the, at the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Yes, yes. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. What else? What else? I'm in Statue Island. I have... That's what I've been calling it, seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened, by the way. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabbro relaxation scale. If you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Well, mostly connected anyway. You'll see. What's up with this planet? Oh, you meant, like, tell you more about it? I gotcha. Well, Giant Steep is massive, mostly underwater. And mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current, a ways beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I tried everything I could think of to get past that current, and neither idea worked. Fun. Two ideas. Neither idea. So, they figured out a way to get below the current, though, on... I forget which one it was. One of the planets had an observatory. Hollow? I think it was Brittle Hollow. As for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also the one with that Nomai statue I saw on the beach. So four other islands. So five islands total. You've seen the cyclones? Yeah, they're hard to miss. They'll yeah, toss up including anything. This one. Oh, including this one. They'll toss up everything in their path. Islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in water. Less likely to kill you. Where's your ship? It's definitely on this planet somewhere. I mean, unless a cyclone came by and tossed into space, I guess. That'd be pretty nice. I hope it's not lonely. Oh, that's gas, You're right? To hover through that. Well, I don't even. I don't even think that's a hoverable thing. Uh, you seem to think that the gas is a lot smaller than it is. Like that's definitely an impassable. So that's outside. That's inside. Yeah, that's like. There's no way. Think you could do it. What? What do you mean? So there's nothing Thank here, you. but and it's not. It just goes to the other side of the island. <laughs> that just goes like over here. Yeah, it's right there. Why would I possibly do that? You can use it as a camera instead of a scout? Wait, I've never... Oh, I've never done it this way. Oh, cool. That's real nifty. That's real handy. Say cheese. Oh. Okay, cool. Thanks for the intel. Very useful. Let's go to another island. I think you've seen them all. Do you? Well, it did, did they tell us that in the tutorial? I don't remember that in the tutorial. I, I guess it does say it uh, in the instructions. Is this the ship? That's a ship. Can I get inside his ship, or is it just like a little fun Easter egg? Like, oh, there's the ship. I mean, here we go. No landing pad on this one. Uh, you know what, though? Could I land on one of the other... That seems like a poor idea as well. Okay. We're just gonna go for it.
Oh, ghost matter. Uh, and then just take snapshot. Okay, so not here. Danger, ghost matter. Okay, that's fine. It's that way. Keep taking snapping picks. I think you're fine. There's no more of the rocks. Oh, yeah, you're right. There are no more of the rocks. Uh, do I not? Okay, I didn't have my flashlight on. I don't know if that's... This yeah, I was just wondering if that was... Okay, now there's bad business. So between those, it's bad. That way, it's bad. This way, it's okay. This is so... Uh, big shout-out to Quentin here. Uh, <laughs> this is so nice compared to the experience I would be having otherwise. Oh, look, another... Doze off! Boring crash is zero. Remember to see Slate when I get back. Haha, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Uh, electrocuted. Right off the list. Dark Bramble, here I come. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Shit. I can't go in there. You just have to deal with it. I, I know, I just wanted to get under something so I didn't get launched off the planet. I Am I gonna die? when I land, because I'm not like, I might die when I land. I did not die. Okay, we're good. Why would I possibly want to doze off? Okay, I really, I really clicked through this. Is it happening again? Okay. I guess brute force isn't always the answer, right? Okay, well, I missed the first part again. Can't believe it wasn't electrocuted. Okay, he doesn't say anything. Come on, dude. You skipped over the first part again. Well, no, I didn't. I, I saw that part. Uh, all the way down to the core. Oh, so I need to go and ask him about the core. Also, or jellyfish. Go to, dark, go to Brittle Hollow, I guess. I mean, should I doze off? I don't think so. I kind of, I'm kind of interested. Why is there an option for dozing off? Presumably, it just spends time. You already did, and he gave you hint, hint. Oh, yeah, no, that was when I was, yeah, that was when I was at, uh, the other place, but yeah, Brittle Hollow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's something to do, doze off lets you kill some time. Okay, cool. It, it's something about these jellyfish. These jellyfish, in some way, let you avoid getting electrocuted. Oh, refill jetpack, thank you. I just don't know. I haven't tried to get under the water yet, so I'm not really sure exactly what that means. But uh, I'm sure that once I try, it'll make sense. And speaking of, uh, we're going to try it. We're going to try to go below the water surface. M much of giant steep... Info comes from elsewhere. I see. My ship is gone. Oh. My ship is over there. Uh. A jump? I, the gravity is so strong. I don't know if I'll be able to. If the gravity is like re like this is all I can get. That's it. That's my full boost. Mm. 
Um, we might be out of luck here. Oh, no, there it is. It's right there. I just need to do a little bit of parkour. Can you get up there? I... The answer is looking increasingly like no. And I'm hearing a... Yeah, really high... Yeah, absolutely right. The, uh, the high gravity makes this significantly more difficult. I might be able to make it up there. I just didn't press the button again. This is infuriating. How do I get back up here? Where's the... There it is. I went the long way around. There we go. Let's try that all again. Holy moly. Let's see if we can't try to get back to our ship. Oh, that was pretty good. I hear another one. Oh, hey, Raven. What's going on? Raven? Raven, hold on to your socks. You're about to get a... <laughs> You're about to get a very close introduction to what's going on in this game right now. Oh, baby! <laughs> that was cool as hell. Welcome to the stream, Raven. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. The jellyfish are the key. But I can't get past the current. This is really cool. This is, uh, this game is called, uh, Outer Wilds. It's like all about space exploration. Okay, ideas I have. What the hell is this? It's like one of the islands? Just one of the islands. I've been caught under the island. I... Well. <laughs> and I am like, I am wedged. Well, GJ. I am I am wedged. Oh god. Oh no, now I'm super stuck. Like I can't move. Suck it in. Too thick. I'm too thick. Well, we're just going to ride this out here, I guess until the inevitable heat death of the universe. Is there any way to turn off the, uh, the oxygen here? <laughs> oh my god, Cameron. <laughs> Bet you never seen somebody do that, Quentin. If only you had found Gabbro last cycle. I don't know what that means. 
Gav, wait, which one's Gavro? One on this island. The one on this island? Well, maybe I go to him this cycle and talk to him? Like this, this next cycle? Well, I could suppose so, like, he has memories too, right? Yeah, yeah, so he'll know things. I have to go visit him again. Oh, it, this is convenient. Music's kicking in anyways. Nice relaxing. What do you think this would, uh, what do you think this would rate on, uh, Gabro's scale of relaxation? That's Excuse just me. right here? Yeah, th like this this experience as Probably a place a to watch the heat death of the universe. Like a three? Maybe, Maybe a four. four. I am you know, currently you know, undergoing you know. extreme G-force that is keeping me pinned against this wall. That's pretty cool. I'm also running out of fuel. Like this is using fuel. Which is I interesting. Think holding the buttons. I'm I am not holding the buttons. No? No. Why are you running out of fuel? I don't know. That's so weird. That's right, he death of the universe incoming. Man, it's so beautiful watching the sun explode from here. Oh yeah, exactly, right? Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. <laughs> Oh, that gets me every time. <laughs> so much of that day was just stuck in that, uh, was just stuck in there. Rip. All right, we'll go see Gabber again this cycle, and hopefully he will tell us something about how to get to the center. I'm... My guess is that it's something to do with the... Uh, with the tornadoes that may be going straight down under a tornado or something. Like, it, like, flushes me down or something. That's my guess. The tornadoes pick you up. But maybe not underwater they don't. Or something. Or maybe I go up and then fall back down, but it pushes me, I don't know. The right. brittle hollow seems to have the answers you're looking for. That's the brittle hollow bit to explore. Okay, so should I go to Giant's Deep again and talk to Gabro this time, or should I go back to Brittle Hollow? That's your choice, Cameron. Or should I... You got to make your own choices. Or should I go somewhere else? I haven't really explored the Ember Twins. Whoa, no way. Alex. What? Zoe? Alex is going to sell me followers. Come on. That's not nice. Wait. This is the moon. It's the quantum moon. It's around Dark Bramble now. It's good to have in mul many situations. The Brittle Hollow stuff? If that's true, I can go to Brittle Hollow. But the Quantum Moon, it's, well, it's gone. Get the Gabbro bit done. Oh, it's good to have the Gabbro bit done. Oh, sorry, get the Gabbro bit done. Yes, sorry, I will go back to Giant's Deep to get the Gabbro bit done. Uh, the Quantum Moon moved on me, though. Where is it now? Tricky, tricky. You guys gotta be so paranoid about the quantum moon now. Like, what's the deal with the quantum moon? I thought it was just made of gas. It was just like, oh, 
That's a, that's a gas moon. I think you need to have a really, really dense core to be able to be a gas giant. I don't know the science. I don't think a moon can be that big. Sometimes it's when you first wake up and blink, it can be like right there when you wake up. That's so funny. So, Zoe, Giant's Deep, not as scary as you thought that it would have been? I mean, I still don't like it. But there, I haven't seen much light. The jellyfish, I oh. don't like. Jellyfish do not appreciate it. Okay. Whenever I enter the gravity of a planet, it's always a, a scary first few moments. Look at me. I've grown so much. I already don't need my landing camera. Gabbro time. Hey, Gabbro. Hey, yo, buddy. It's a good thing I never get bored of rain, huh? Um, I found your ship. Oh, cool. So it's floating in the ocean, huh? Did it look like it was having a good time? Uh. I found something? Nope. Not that. Um. How about, how do you stay so calm in the face of repeated impending death? Deep breaths. No, seriously. I meditate. Want me to teach you? It'll be the next loop before you know it. Sure. Oh. Is this the thing? So now I can just meditate and end the, the loop? Mmm. The ability to reset the loop does seem very useful. So, meditate until next loop. Yes. Okay, that is very useful. Cool. That being said, I am going to go back there. I'm going to go explore the thing that blew up. That's what I'm after. Is coffee soup? Is coffee soup? Good question. Because soup is like you put some stuff in water and you put oh, beans in the coffee. Uh, I need a definition of soup before I can commit to an answer here. Well, the thing, Cameron, is that soup is a socially defined category we came up with the idea and we can change how we think about it mm -hmm, sure but there is a, a, an agreed upon definition of soup that we as a society have all agreed to so that we can so that so that we can communicate in a meaningful way about anything we have all agreed that soup means a particular thing and have all agreed upon a definition of what that thing is Right. The meaning of words is contextual in a lot of different scenarios. It's really about how you sure. to use them more. Sure, definitions incorporate those multiple contexts. When you enter a dictionary, it doesn't just have one definition for a word. It has, like, five. Sure, so why don't we add new ones? Uh, we will as soon as people start using the word in that way. Until then... Okay, well, I'm, I'm trying to start using the word in this way. I think coffee can be a soup. <laughs> well, that's a different conversation. You didn't say... Does you didn't say coffee should be considered soup? You said is coffee soup, and as yeah. of currently, maybe or maybe not. I think coffee is soup. That's a different conversation. Froth is also soup. Control module. Froth. 
prop. <laughs> the universe is going to die. You have no time to argue. At best, coffee is broth. Or is, oh, I see. I see what you mean. Broth is a soup. Like chicken mm. broth? That's soup? I need a definition of soup. This is, is, you, is, is, you're, this is how you are. I try to bring some ideas to the table, and you're like, hmm, I need a definition. Hmm, facts and Pro logic. Tracking hmm, module. bird nests are spoons, if you really think about <laughs> it. Bird nests could count. Okay. Uh, what is the definite? What is our operational understanding of soup here? Is it... I my, to... my own context of soup is that it's wet and you eat it. It's wet. That's your that's your only stipulation for soup. Wet and you eat it. So cereal. Water is the world's. Water is a type. Uh, wa uh, sorry, cereal. Cereal is a soup, specifically a stew, which is a kind of soup. Interesting. Interesting perspective for sure. Um, I hard disagree. I think soup has to be warm. You can have cold soups like gazpacho. I don't know what gazpacho is. Oh, is more, of, more of these things. What is this? Okay, nothing. So mixing something with broth doesn't make soup. It just changes it? Yeah, it just adds stuff to the soup. It's just a different type of soup, it's allegedly. Kind of soup. From Miriam Webster, this is what I'm looking for. A liquid food... Especially with Special, a meat, fish, or vegetable only. stock as a base, and often containing pieces of solid food. So just liquid food. I, I think I'm with you. Liquid food is soup. That's the definition. Giant's Deep Projection Stone. We've also got Launch Module beans. Projection Stone. Beans are food. So this is the Launch Module. It's like disconnected from the rest of it. I think water is the world's simplest soup. That oh, is, is the base essential soup. Oh, this is underwater. Or it's on the island. Right? No, it's just drifting around. It is disconnected, though. Launch modules disconnected. Malo... My better 50%. Cassava is spending the last of the... Sending the last of the cannon components. Soon we'll know the eye's precise location. Cassava tells me that he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting. Uh, we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see. And am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. Given the orbital probe cannon, all of the power constructually withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Ah, uh, yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Ah, cute. That's nice. All right, now. I think where the contextual is... bit there is that the ones in orange are like somewhere else. Like they're speaking to wherever that other. Oh, station there it is. is. Are we about to hit? Oh no. Oh no, we're not. We just had a had have a close orbit there. I do notice there is a red lightning at one of the poles, and that might have something to do with uh, going below. Hey, this is where we were. This is we, we we've been here. Broth, liquid in which meat, fish, cereal grains, or vegetables have been cooked. So broth can be soup. Can be soup. That just makes sense. Worst panic ever. Who remains calm like that? Which panic? What are we talking about? What panic? I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there is a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon oh. won't be asked to fire. Sad. I think they mean like you staring at the the planet, being like, "Are we crashing?" Oh, oh, I guess that is probably <laughs> a bad panic. 
Um, I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. I wish I were my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital cannon is being put on definite hiatus. Turn from the cannon. Yeah, yeah, no, this is the same conversation. You're totally right. Yeah, that was, it, it was like a light panic, but like in this game, like, what am I gonna do about the, you know, <laughs> what am I gonna do if, if the satellite was crashing into the planet? Stop it somehow? Nah, I just gotta embrace it and roll put, with the punches. Roll with the punches, but also be sad and scared about it. So, not that way. Let's go this way. Shit. Is there a hole? There is a hole in it. it okay. Landed it landed on the glass, which kind of seems perfect if my plan is to, like, go out there. Hmm. How good is my free travel, like, like out in space, like? You can uh, match velocity with your jetpack. So if I have a little, like, a little jump here. Okay, this is fine. This is totally fine. Then we go in through the break in the glass. Hey, this is the place that we saw before. How do you do? Probe tracking, probe tracking module. module. You're gonna see where the probe is? This is definitely in the planet, right? In the middle? Yeah, that seems like it's in the middle of the planet. Okay, interesting. Nope, whoops, sorry. Give me that. I like how they wiggle. Throw that there. Wiggle, wiggle. Grades quality, their wiggles. Imagine, Privet. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. We won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use too, so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe can's structural integrity slightly? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> I would mind, Mallow. I would mind, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Anything else in here? Mm, nope. Yeah, nope. And I can't get back this way, can I? No. I gotta get back to my ship. So we still don't know how to get to the center of the planet. Brittle Hollow. Gotta go to Brittle Hollow to find out. All roads lead back to Brittle Hollow. Wait. Seems like it might be going the wrong way. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my god. Okay, that one really got me. Oh, just Holy see. shit. <laughs> I see, I see. Oh my god. Well, this is the probe. Can you launch your ship? <gasps> In the cannon? Is that how you get to the center? Look at it. It goes right by. Let's go get my ship. But Ow. we don't know how to we don't know how to fire it. No, we don't know how to fire it, you're right. And it looks like this is only like a section of the probe cannon. It looks like the rest of the barrel is broken off. Oh, they said that the missing component was a missing component was below the surface. Right. So maybe. That's an idea. Oh jeez. Raven, you're killing me. <laughs> 
If you want to scare me more, come by tomorrow. We're going to be playing some probably Dread Halls. I will be terrified. Uh, I mean, but do we go? Oh, there. We're going to go right there. Just to, just to see what's going on. Raven, did you see Dread Halls last week? I played a little bit of Dread Halls. It's a, uh... It's a VR horror game. So that fired me. Just, just flying through that fired me. Yes, a little bit. It was so scary. It freaked me out. I am kind of surprised that I'm doing it again. I mean, I'm going to try to dock in the gravity probe and see what happens. I keep dipping under. There we go. That's definitely, that fits my ship. Why do you do these things to yourself? I honestly, I don't know. I like horror games. In ge like generally speaking. My, I'm just wedged here. I don't think I can... Oh, 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 I made it. I did it. <laughs> soup, also soup. Yep. It's all soup. You've made your point just, known. Uh, throwing this in there so that the others can weigh it. Okay, so this did not work. <laughs> And now I'm stuck. Uh-oh. I'm just kind of wedged. I just need to... Your hull is damaged. No, my hull got damaged when I... Did you see when I flew through the other part of it? It, like, launched me. I did not see that. Uh, I got my hull damaged then. Wait, no. No, I want... I want Brittle Hollow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, we probably aren't going to get anything done at Brittle Hollow today, so let's go to the Hollow's Lantern and see if we can't figure something out with that. Your hole's damaged? Yeah, my hole got damaged. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I mean, you have to be more gentle with your hole. This is smaller. I feel like we there might be something to do on here. Maybe. It looks very tiny and very angry. It does look very tiny and very angry. This is this Don't is be true. There? I I don't know if landing on this thing seems. I mean, try. Productive. I just don't know Might what. Well. I'm just trying to look around the planet and see if there's anywhere I'd even want to like. You know. Explore. Because if there's nowhere I'd even want to explore, then, like, what's the point? Like, I don't want to go inside of a volcano. Why not? That sounds pretty cool. Because there's just lava coming from them. Like, I can see that there's something oh. in there. Oh, hey. I just dodged in real life. What the hell? I 
was nervous that was going to fucking knock your ship out. Okay, we okay, made it. it's one of these. Yeah, it's one of these. <laughs> Ember Hearth. Oh? Timber Hearth? Timber Hearth. Timber, that's where you're from. Yeah, yeah, this is home. They have where a is... base on Timber Hearth? Where the hell is this? Have you explored? Is that a guy? Place? That's a guy. Is that a real guy? Is he alive? I don't know. I can't tell. There's another thing? There's a... Elevator shaft? What the hell? Is there a place I that I can... I explore your home planet a bit. Yeah, I think I might need to. I was about to ask if you explored your home planet. Now I know the answer is no. The answer is most certainly no. Friends in the Timber Hearth Mines. The last one of... Uh, the last type of ore you sent us survives the longest in direct heat. Can you send us more of the same for additional testing? We're attempting to improve its durability, and our forge has already burned through everything you sent. We'll deliver more whore to hollow, hollow Lantern immediately. You will be fired upon. You will be fired up about crafting the Ashwinch Project's prote protective shell. Goodness. My gratitude. I imagine we'll also have an updated estimate soon of how much ore is needed to seal off the Ash Twins Project. Will it be more than we initially thought? It will be significantly more. The smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. Uh, yes, the idea of an encasement that's supernova proof, however briefly, has kindled my curiosity. Oh, they're trying to survive the supernova? Oh, there's text well, camera. Don't run. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's text right here. I know. Increased solar activity detected. Increased volcanic activity detected. Location is now inhospitable. Evacuation recommended. Well, now I have to go in the other volcanoes. We have to look inside them, at least. Yes. Oh, I should uh, actually. Whilst I'm here. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Okay. Uh, how do I repair shit? I've not done that in a minute. Okay, there we go. Figured it was just something like that. Okay, so that was that one. Looks like nothing in that one. Yeah, it looks like nothing in that one. So that's two. <laughs> Add to a list of great ideas. Repair ship while in a volcano. It seemed relatively safe. Are these the ones I already looked in? Are there only three? Okay, I think that's it. I think that was all four checked. Or all three checked, if there's only three. I think I've... No, there. So there is four, but I did look in all of them. You know what I think we ought to do? Oh! Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> uh, what do you think, Cameron? Uh, I think we ought to meditate and go explore our planet. Because I could explore Brittle Hollow here, but I think that a lot of this day has already passed. And we're going to need to full, put like a full expedition into Brittle Hollow. So I say, let's just meditate, go back to our planet, and explore around our planet. And then we'll go and do Brittle Hollow. Oh, 
at the time. It's getting late. I feel like that usually goes the other way. Hmm. Uh, still want to use my spaceship to explore the planet. Just go to a different place. <clears throat> Easy. Easy peasy. Gonna put your suit on too? Well, it has a jetpack on it, so. That's fair. Figure that might be useful. Okay, we got some rivers, some geyser situations. Okay, cool. When I'm in the the viewing areas, I can't throw my probe to get a waypoint to where that is, can I? No, I think it's just like what it looks like, I think. I hope. Oh, oh, that's that's that thing. I've seen that thing. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, ho, ho, how the, well, <laughs> how the turntables. Oh, is this just a way in here from outside? Wait, what is this? Is this, what is this? Okay. <laughs> so this is just a little thing. We're gonna explore inside first. Cause so I think this might just be a way to get in. Oh, uh, Quentin, I wonder if you're worthy of a burger. I wonder if the stream wizard I wonder if the stream wizard would deem you worthy. Zoe, are you worthy of a burger? Mining site 2B. I hope so. I'm kind of hungry. <clears throat> Thank God. The stream wizard has deemed you worthy of a burger. Congratulations. Aha, this is it. A burger? Yes, a burger. Exclamation mark burger to ask the uh, to ask the stream wizard for a burger. Okay, well that's broken. Really? I've never had Philly cheesesteak, but it sounds so good. I want to try it so bad. I need to try so many food. Food is so good. They just don't have many Philly cheesesteaks in the. Uh... Oh, Binkman gets a burger too. They don't have many Philly cheesesteaks in the Maritimes, but yeah. we have Donaires and, gar and, so good. and Garlic Fingers. Garlic Fingers can't be like a only here thing. They can't be. I, they, they are, I think. That's ridiculous. It freaks me out. I had some pals from the States who were like, what's a Garlic Finger? And I like lost my freaking mind. Oh my god, you people are barbarians! I have never oh, heard of these fingers of man. garlic. So garlic fingers are basically like pizza. They're like a pizza, right? But they're like a pizza that doesn't have marinara like sauce. tomato sauce, doesn't have marinara sauce on it. But it does have like what, like garlic like what? What is garlic fingers? Uh, it's like pizza dough. Yeah, it's pizza but instead dough. Instead of a tomato sauce, you put in like a like a garlic butter or like a garlic aioli kind of sauce, and you top that with a bunch of cheese, and then you cut it up into these little uh, squares, and you serve it with like a sweet sauce. Called donaire sauce. Donaire sauce, donaire sauce definitely is more just. Specific to yeah. 
ear. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's just really good. It's just like garlicky, cheesy bread. Yeah. So cheesy garlic bread. Yeah, basically. But like every single pizza place in the Maritimes sells this. Like when you with, get uh, pizza, you don't just get pizza. You get pizza and garlic fingers. It's like a, it's like a combo oh. situation. You won't catch any anybody in the Maritimes just getting pizza or just getting garlic I fingers. Get just pizza sometimes because it's cheaper. What the hell? Like if I'm getting like a, this is, <laughs> uh, this is Ash Twin. Is... Oh, oh, whoa, 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 oh, um. They mentioned that they had a spot with all the memories implanted in Ash Twin. Yeah, this is the memories. Is this so this, so one of these, memories? yeah, this must be me and Gabro, and maybe somebody oh, wow. else. <clears throat> I grew up north of Canada. <laughs> How'd you grow up? Wait, north of Canada? Where did you say where you were from? North of Canada. That's the not a thing. The Antarctic. Canada and you. The Arctic. Here. No, Canada is, like, into the Arctic. Like, Nineveh is, like, the Arctic. Detroit, the, Michigan? Detroit, That's Michigan not north of not Canada. north of Canada. That's south of Canada. That's south. Maybe north of, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Look at your I'm glad right I'm not now. losing my mind. It is south... It, oh, yes. It, I have heard this piece of trivia before. It is both southwest and uh, north of Canada. There are parts of Detroit oh, yeah, 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 that okay. are in every direction of parts of Canada. But I wouldn't say that. I guess that makes it north of Canada. That makes it north of, like, the most, most southern part of Canada. <laughs> My gratitude for the latest shipment, Oeno. This ore should be the last we need for the Ash Twins project. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure those are no longer there are no longer any physical entrances. Rami and I will be checking the interior and the exterior for cracks. Our final safety check. This is exciting news. Can I offer any extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delayed to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better. As the smallest flower opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twins project would lead, could lead to disaster. So that's Ash Twins. It's north of Windsor. I know where that is. When I was in Epcot in December, I did enjoy the 360-degree film presentation in the Canada Pavilion. Uh, I have been to Epcot. I have been to the Canada section of Epcot. I've seen this 360-degree film presentation. Uh, so you haven't been. I have not left, like, the Maritimes. I yes. I went to Quebec once, and that's, like, yes. basically uh, on the border of the Maritimes. The, it's, it's very stereotypically Canadian, and I get that they have to lean into that, because otherwise it would just be, like, really boring, because it's mostly <laughs> just, like, the States. But it's, like, beavers and... It's, it's like, oh, beavers wow. and moose and snow. And there is snow, but, you know... Uh, but like all of the employees are all are all dressed in like red flannel and like oh my god <laughs> and like jukes so and cheese. It's pretty funny. And they have like an outfit that they all wear. Is that a microaggression? I'm so amazed by how much ore the Ashwin project requires. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ashwin? Yeah. The completed <laughs> yeah, towers basically. I've seen are quite large. Oh. Wow. Yeah. I mean, a bit. Yeah. The material for the to those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. That's the chamber. The chamber. Yeah. The chamber. Oh, the chamber. The beaver. Oh, the beaver. It's a beautiful sight to see. I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber, hearths, or only for constructing the shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've planned accordingly. Uh, I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Coleus. How else would he improve? 
some fun country statistics. It, Look at their ratios of murders and suicides. I wonderful. don't know. I don't know to what you are referring. I'm guessing that it, this statistic is going to be that per capita, there's more or something. I can admit, I kind of find the formal red Mountie uniform hot. <laughs> you know what? That's that's fine. I get it. You know, with the with the goofy hat and like the. The pants. The pants. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely gonna like push you down. It did, in fact, push me down as expected. I should have gone around it. I was like, maybe I can push against it. What is this? Well, kind of. Hard to see down here. Yeah. Everything's been plugged up. Look at that. Oh, these, this is where they were drilling. They were drilling all these oh. holes. To mine. Oh. Brennan Fraser is Mountie Uniform from Diddly Do Right movie. I'm not familiar. Once it is to compare us in Canada with South American countries showing sharp contrast. So compare us in Canada with South American countries showing sharp contrast. I am... I don't know what point you are making in this particular case. Comparing Canada and the States with South with South American countries? Is that what you're saying? Ooh, ooh. Philadelphia, oh my god. Do people call it that? Suicide's ten times higher than murders in US or Canada. Okay. Yeah. That sounds about right. It does sound about right. Oh, this is the way I came in. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to go further down. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. We made it. That's so sad. I mean, like, Zoe, where you're from, there's a lot of crime. But like, they, they don't have a nickname with murder in it. Twitch has degraded you to a very pixelated for me now. Uh, do you have a, a, the option to pick the, the quality of the stream manually by any chance? Sometimes there's an option down there. <laughs> Our Canadian pixels. Oh, I just went in a circle again. There is a lot of crime, but like, it's mostly cool crime. Cool there is crime? There's some murder, but like, a lot of it's just like people getting high with cool drugs, and I think that's fine. The real bad place is like, uh, the Northwest Territories have it rough, rough. I have gigabit internet. I don't know why Twitch has an issue. I don't know why Twitch would have an issue either. I set it to source 1080p. That's so weird. All right, I think we've thoroughly explored this area. <laughs> I did. A, I did a lap a couple of times. Uh the beaver. Oh, the beaver. It is a beautiful sight to see. It's more than just plain money. It's a symbol of our land. You know that. You remember that song, right, So This is not a personal, so. Update. Oh, uh... What song? I'm sorry I wasn't paying attention. The beaver. Oh, the beaver. It is a beautiful sight to see. 
That sounds so familiar. You know that one? It's more than just plain money. It's a symbol of our land. Okay, it's... I prob that sounds like something I probably heard when I was very young, and I've since forgotten. Yeah, do it in music class and all that. Mm. Seems like a euphemism. Well, that's one of the choruses. It's because we have beavers on our money. And because a big reason for the colonization of Canada was to get beavers for the fur trade. Yeah, that too. That and also, you know, conquering lands for exploited laborers to ship off unwanted desirables off English shores. But now we have beavers on our nickels. Now we have beavers on our nickels and colonialism is still ripe to the day. And we have moose on our on our quarters. <laughs> uh, we call it a loony because there's the, duck, the bird on it called loonies. I don't recall beavers on your money, but you know it's been ages since I've been. I remember the loony. Yes, we have beavers on our nickels and we have... Um, uh, moot. Actually, I think they're caribou on our on our quarters. Uh, and we have um. We have a sailing boat known as the Blue Nose on our oh on our God. dimes. That is us, you and me, Cameron. That's us. That's us. That's the Maritimes, baby. We, we did that. I was alive when it happened. I did it. My uncle was on the Blue Nose. Oh shit! For real? Yeah, for real. Holy shit! I was my, lying. My my That's uncle has sailed on the blue nose. It's a fact That's that my up. grandpa is very proud of. Vending machines reject the Canadian quarters I used to encounter regularly. <laughs> I forgot to refuel. Uh, the Maritimes is like. Oh oh wow no oh god damn it Zoe one of these times you're not gonna be paying attention. The Maritimes is a, a section of Canada. It is an area roughly encompassing Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Cape Breton. Uh, Weird call out Prince on Prince Edward Island and Newfoundland is like in there. Weird call out on Cape Breton instead of the provinces. What do you mean? Cape Breton, Cape Breton is not a province. Like... It's not a province, but it's like it is a part of Nova Scotia, but also yeah, it's part. It's a part. You already said Nova Scotia. I would just call that Nova Scotia, PEI, uh, yeah. Newfoundland and Labrador, and New Brunswick, probably, and PEI. If I didn't say PEI, you did say PEI. Newfoundland and Labrador. Britain is like... Yeah, the bits in the Atlantic area. Uh, you still have the Queen on your paper money. Uh, Y yes. Do. Yes. I hate her. You want to see? Oh, hold on. S stand by a moment. Uh, for somebody who hates her, you sure asked for a, a picture of her from the government. Well, yeah, because it was free. And I put it up as like an ironic thing. What? Me hating the government? I don't know how you got that idea. I hate the government in the cool way, not the libertarian way, don't worry. I think driver's license oh, I've got it right is here. pretty cool. I've got some Canadian money in here. So here is a Canadian $20 bill. You can see we got the queen there. We've got the maple leaf. Uh, it's, it's transparent on this part of it. There's our, uh, I believe this is a parliament building. Or... That looks like Big Ben, actually. I don't know what this building Not is. Big ben. It's it's a clock. It's got a clock on it. I thought it was a Parliament building. A lot of buildings have clocks. Yeah, Cameron. that's fair. That's fair. Um, so, you know, there's the Queen. We got the Maple Leaf here. These transparent bits, I believe, are actually the part that used to distinguish real currency from forfeit currency. It's like made of some special material. Um, I think you meant counterfeit, not forfeit. Did I say forfeit? I meant counterfeit. Um, and we got the other side here. It's a little bit less exciting. The queen is still on there a little bit, you can see. Kind of her faint outline. Uh, her face is also in the shiny bits on here. which you Oh, you can kind of see that. Um, oh, good night. 
And also, if you scratch it, it smells like uh, like maple, right? People Isn't, kept saying that. We got but scratch I and don't sniff money. Think they ever. I think they probably did when they were fresh into circulation. I doubt any of them actually smell that way anymore. But allegedly, I, we had scratch and sniff money. I think that's bullshit. I don't think it was ever scratch and sniff. I choose to believe it. There was at least a rumor that it was scratch and sniff. Frankly, I can't believe you had cash on hand. Yeah, I've had that $20 bill for like also, five years. Also, they said it was the $100 bill. Oh, the $100 bill was scratch and sniff. Thanks for stopping by, Quentin. I appreciate it. Um, anyways, I just, I've just been standing here for a while, wasting time. Also, it's not true. It's also not true? Snopes? Also not true. Uh, lame. Uh, Canada official Jeremy Harrison says no cent have been added to any of the new banknotes. But lame. many Canadians don't believe him. <laughs> <laughs> None of us believe you. Don't Bullshit. lie to us. Oh, cool. Something about a tree. True. I don't have cash on hand. I have coins for my laundry machines. That's it. What, what? Oh, ghost matter. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Belly, belly of the beast. Oh my god. I forget what it... Uh... There we go. Okay, there's a bunch of ghost matter right there. None right here. Okay. Um, but yeah, oh, also notably, uh, our money is made of... Plastic. Plastic. So it doesn't really crease properly. It doesn't bend properly. As somebody who's worked at, like... I, I've worked at the exhibition, which is like a fair that comes around. Mm. Um, and I've had to... Uh, Oh, no. Oh, no. I've had to work with money and, like, put into a till and everything. And it's kind of a nightmare, the fact that it... The fact that it doesn't bend is usually helpful, but at times can be very annoying if somebody has managed to bend it, because then it will not unbend. You tell Trudeau there's too much plastic in the world, he needs to fix that. I think the idea was to make the money more durable. I don't know. It's not on the top of my list of things that I feel I need to tell Trudeau about. But I do agree. Too much plastic. We should just be trading in gold, for sure. Yeah, no environmental concerns with mining gold. No, not at all. All right, waiting for the plant to blow up here. If God didn't want us to be putting big old holds in the earth and destroying the surface forever, he wouldn't have put the shiny rock in there. Why did it get so dark? I guess the sun just blew up. <laughs> but it's like so dark. Oh, here it comes. Oh. Or the black gooey stuff in exactly. reference. Exactly. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, you know what? I think I'm probably done with uh, Outer Wilds for tonight now. Seems like a good place to end. We were just chatting about <laughs> about some uh, Canadian currency and stuff. I'd considered moving to Canada right after college. 
It's a nice place. It's nice. I have never lived in the States, but I've, I've visited a handful of times. It seems mostly the same, honestly, from what I've seen. Um, I, I will say, this one time that I was uh, living, or living, this one time that I was visiting uh, the States, I think I, I might have told this story on stream before. Maybe even while Bakeman was here. Um, I feel like I've told it recently. Um, one time when I was when I was visiting the States, uh, me and my family were going to Disney World. And then on our way back from Disney, uh, we stopped at a McDonald's. And we, you know, just, we ordered our food. We got our food all together. And uh, then we sat down at a table and we were eating our McDonald's, like, fairly late at night. You know, we had just gotten done a full day at Disney World. And we didn't want to eat while we were there because it's really expensive. So, you know, we were just, and we were happy, you know, all the kids happy to eat at McDonald's. Um... And then, uh, while we were eating, this guy came in, uh, with this big gym bag, and he started arguing, uh, we, we didn't hear how it started, but he started arguing with the, uh, like, the cashier and the workers, and so it got kind of heated, and he started, like, yelling and, you know, making a big scene, and, you know, me, me and my family, you know, we were trying to, you know, stay out of it, but, you know, keep an eye, we were kind of interested, um, and then we and then the guy with the with, I was getting in the argument with everybody uh, he went into the bathroom and we had some of the workers come over to us and say hey you might want to get out of here he might have a gun in his bag and we said oh my god and we fled the restaurant <laughs> that's a nightmare yeah I have no I mean probably nothing happened um Almost certainly nothing happened. Although I, I guess I was young enough, I, my parents probably wouldn't have told me if something did happen if they saw it on the news. But yeah, uh, freaky, freaky that that was a thing that may have happened, and that the, uh, the employees felt a need to come over and tell us to get out of there. Imagine getting so angry at a McDonald's that you show up with a gun. Like, holy shit. I mean, who knows? We've had our... We have our fair share of, of bad stuff that happens. That is true. Seems like with less frequency than in some places in the States, but also, like, you know, Florida versus small town... Wherever I'm from. <laughs> It's very different vibes. Look, we had people shooting store employees over being told to wear a mask. Jeez. That's... It's brutal. Oh, boy. And I can't believe that they made doctors wear masks for all those years, even though they slowly killed them. That's crazy. Oh my god. No wonder my doctor's so bad. The mask make him not get the oxygen. Yeah, that's why uh that's why nobody in New Brunswick wants to be a doctor. Because the masks are killing them. That's why there's a doctor <laughs> shortage. Yeah, that's why. Oh, whoopsie daisies. Alright, I am going to probably call the stream there for the night let me open up my dashboard here see who's on uh who's this red beard gentleman oh dad Pod is just chatting I'm just gonna see who all is on i don't even know i followed so many people on twitch recently We've already had something like over 100 mass shootings this year already. More than four people being shot besides the gunmen. I think in Canada, we've had like, like very, very few, if I remember yeah, there correctly. there was one recently, like a year or two ago. Yeah, and that, but that was like a big deal. Like that, that wasn't was just like deal. another thing that happened. It was, 
It was rough. Oh no, that then there was there's multiple that I can think of. There was the one in Quebec and then the one uh where I used to live. Yeah, there was that horrible, horrible one uh that happened in, in Nova Scotia. With the the guy who pretended to be a policeman. Mm. And that was that was terrible. Anyway, that's very, very tragic. It was a nightmare. Really ending things off on a positive note here. Let's try let's try to maybe switch it up a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a blast playing Outer Wilds. That game is so game. fun. I need to play it and probably beat it so that I stop having you spoil things for me when I spend time on your stream. Oh, it's great. It's awesome. I like having somebody around to enjoy it. Anyway, have a lovely night. I would likely tune in to see Dreadhalls freak you out tomorrow or, you know, later today. Uh, yes, later today. That's true. Um, I am going to raid out here and end the stream. If you want to stick around for just, like, five more minutes or so, I'm just picking somebody right now. Um, it looks like... Let's go for this person playing Apex. I love me some Apex. What is Crossfire? Ah, oh, let's go for let's go for some Apex. Okay. So we're gonna raid out to It's Saucy. I look forward to tomorrow seeing you for Dread Halls there. Binkman. I'm sure it's gonna be a blast. I'm not sure when I'll be on, but I'll be on at some point. I'll aim for earlier in the in the evening than I have been streaming lately. All right, so we're going to start up the raid here. Go hop on in there and give it's saucy some love. Okay, I know a couple people a couple different streamers who go by saucy these days. Um, but yeah, so it looks like our, every is already in there. So thank you all for tuning in. I had a great time. I hope you did too. Um Tune in tomorrow for Spooky Saturday. Uh, yeah, I hope you have a great night, and I'll see you next time. See ya. Good night.